Headshot Cam. Oh, sod. special Simon the Sorcerer playthrough. Yes, especially one close and dear to our hearts. Which is apparently a crossover with Red Dwarf, <laughs> judging by the boy's voice. Yes, by the by this boy's voice, which we'll see the name of <laughs> at some point. Yes, apparently, as Devar was telling me, in this version of Simon, is voiced by Rima yeah. from Red Dwarf, which is Let me try that again. outstanding and also Wanted completely inappropriate for a 15 years old. Yeah, it's <laughs> to sound it's like that. Idea. It's weird, but my child, but because of my rose-tinted glasses, I think he's perfect for the role. Yes, uh, the version of Simon I played was a, a floppy disk. Yeah, no words. Version of it, in so words, no, it was a non-talky version. Non-talky version, also non. Explodey version. As well. <laughs> it did not have the exploding sound effect or the far. sparkling sound that is producing right now. Yeah, I think this is just. It just had the music. I think that mainly this is uh, just the game's the way of music. That is. Yeah, I think this is just the game's the game developer Still showing off all the neat little tricks and bells and whistles that. Ooh. You know, that... Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Somebody like really poorly edited better. that voice clip. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Whee! But you know you expect that from early voice acted games essentially. Uh, and of course we have a scantily clad lady <laughs> come out the hat. I think his performance is a bit phoned in. Yeah, it kind of is. Now, uh, but again, like I said, it's the era when voice acting was still kind of mm -hmm. new. Indeed. So and Knocks it would take another design. few years before voice acting in video games would be taken a bit more seriously. 1993. For, yes. To be specific, at least for PC games. Well, at least for LucasArts adventure games. Oh! Two things to note about this uh, thing with Simon the Sorcerer here. Uh, this was basically, I believe, the first outing of a point and click adventure game uh, Adventure Soft. by Adventure Soft. Uh, you know, just after they renamed their company because they were known as Horror Soft before. Horror soft, you say? What did they do before this? Horror games with point-and-click uh, first-person views, essentially. That's interesting. So this is a completely new venture for them at the time. Yeah. We are in the year of 1991, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. It was in, it was definitely in the early 90s when I played this for the first oh, time. Oh no! The treasure chest just ate my dog! I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. I think the He's treasure a good pet owner. Yes, and plus, uh, I think the treasure chest has beaten you to trapping the dog in a that small space. The treasure chest is either a mimic or is the luggage from the first book of this world, <laughs> the color of magic. So uh, where you are. What's, uh, this? what's this? Oldies? This old book. What a load of old rubbish. And lo and behold. Plot portal. I'm not from around here. I'm from another dimension. <laughs> so, um, are you just going to follow the dog then? Is Very slowly. Happening? I mean, sure. Why not? I see a portal appearing out of nowhere. I go through it. What could possibly go wrong? I casually walk into it. Oh, so, I, remember, I remember this. A couple of goblins. As a zingy. As a zingy. <laughs> Also, Madhog, a bit of warning. Be prepared for this 
goblin here to change his voice actor inexplicably later on. I see. It'll be much later though when you hear that. Ah, this is a child screaming. Ah, lunch time. Go down. You will taste better. Ehe, <laughs> that's funny. You were splattered all over the face. Yes, indeed. Needs more pepper. Needs more cowbell. <laughs> Imagine if a goblin was played by Christopher Walken. Whoa, you got catch that, you man. <laughs> I'll get you later. Oh, I'll get you. You'll actually be able to see that screen much later in the game. It's just it's very pointless to go back there, though. Dear Simon, I know. Pleased to announce that you have been chosen. For oh yeah, and here's the plot letter. Candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest, for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sword. So you're not going to save Feel a princess. To you're saving an old cook. Spellbook and and not just any old cook. A plot important old kook that you never see until the sequel. Until the sequel. Wizard of the village of Fleur de Lis. P.S. Before you can use the spellbook, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern. You must become a wizard, Harry. <laughs> you must become a pirate. I mean, a wizard. <laughs> Simon. Guybrush. I mean, Simon. <laughs> I mean, yes. Oh, great. Bernard. I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes. And not a pizza bar in sight. Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. So it is a British company who made this game. It was somewhere, well, it's definitely somewhere in Europe, I know that. Well, much. because it would be weird if uh, Rimmer was going to try and sound like a 15-year-old American teenager. Yeah. <laughs> because honestly, when I see him, I think more of Marty McFly, voice while. Oh yeah, I, I, I see what you Voice. Worth. Yeah, voice. Uh, yeah, voice it. wise. That's that's the word I was looking for. Voice wise. There was a uh, something that I really liked about this game. It was actually it's probably most likely the first puzzle adventure game I loved dearly. Well, I'm going to tell you something about this. Yeah. This is the very first game I played for myself. Oh. This is my very first game. It is not the first game I've beaten, but it is the first game I've ever played. No, the first game I've ever beaten was Sam and Max Hit the Road. I actually became stuck with Simon the Sorcerer right around the... Snowman Guardian Thou Shall Not Pass. We'll see that moment. one. We'll see that, that one later. Afterwards, I needed a walkthrough in order to beat this game, but... Yeah. We have Walk 2, which I consider to be really pointless. Uh, consume, which is eating... CONSUME! Which is eating or drinking things. I love this. I will CONSUME you! I will consume all the orange juice. <laughs> and we have... Double strength. Yeah. It has to be double strength. Okay, we have Talk 2, which is... Typical you find in these games. Pick oh, up, open, look at, move, close, close, use, remove, remove where, where, close, where, open, give. Move. You know, typical uh, adventure games commands at the time. You so, know, in the early days of scum, as it were. Let's try. Let's just open up this drawer. Oh look, there's a pair of scissors in here. Let's grab those scissors. Let's run with them. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's not like Calypso is going to be using them. They look like hairdressing scissors. Okay, so... Right, so uh, remember to pick up the magnet, because the yeah. first time I played this, it escaped me. I think the first time I played this, the first thing that got away from me was a jar, which is in the druid's house. Oh yes, that will be important for later, much like every item you pick up along the way. Okay, can we pick up the dog? No way! I don't know where it's been! Oh, oh. So yes, so here's the thing about the dog. It does not do anything else. His mission, as it was described in the menu, in the, the menu, in the manual, yeah. in the plot that was written on the manual, the whole introduction to this game, is that the it dog was sent there junk. to basically make sure you come to this world by Calypso. Yeah. On Calypso's behalf. So now you're here and the dog just takes a nap for the rest of the entire game, which is... Funny, I guess. I have no idea what to call it, really. But oh wait, we there's nothing back here yet. We'll see about this later. This big heap of compost heap will be important later. And smelly compost. As Ian Malcolm would put it. Yep. Okay, so there's nothing to go this way. So 
I would like to say as well that the art style is really lovely in this game. Indeed, it is a very um, artistically rich and well-defined game for its no era. Yep, no one's definitely gonna miss that old thing. Now, especially not the blacksmith who's just over there. And he definitely won't miss this clapper either. I don't think he will miss his own soul once I consume it. Consume <laughs> the blacksmith! <laughs> I'd prefer chicken. <laughs> <laughs> he considered it though. Oh boy. Well, we can't get in that door. Just spoilers, there's, you cannot go in this. No. I mean, I was so curious about that place. You know, whenever there is a place I cannot get access to in adventure games, I really want to know more what's behind them. But even if I could get behind them, I wouldn't find anything because those places were never, you know, made in the first place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna avoid this dodgy old geezer just for reasons. Yes, he will be important for later. Oh, oh, this is the best part, I think. This was the time in which I realized I could just grab a ladder and put it inside my hat. I would like to say that, uh, you know, for meta, te for meta wise of carrying meta items. Meta textual well, purposes. Well, for purposes of carrying items inexplicably on your person, Simon makes the most sense because he, he has, has a magical hat! He has a you don't have to explain it because it's a magical hat! I mean, that's so awesome! I wish I had one when I was a kid, actually. I love wagon wheels. Product placement in Britain! Oh. Oh, is that the joke there? Yeah, it's a British joke because wagon wheels is a type of snack in Britain. Are you not going to go inside the building? We will do. I just wanted to show this off at least. None of this will be important yet, by the way, folks. It will later. It will later. Okay, so what is the most intelligent and clever and straightforward way to open up a closed door? Open Made it. Made of chocolate? Eat it? <laughs> no, you send a pig to eat it. <laughs> oh, that will be useful. I knew there was a bottle here of cold remedy. Cold but... remedy? Nice. Uh, we shall cure uh, venom or sleep. There is something else here. There it is. Specimen jar. Because... Also, the music is very quaint. I will say that. Yeah, it's a lovely set of uh, musical tracks that are perfect to set up a mood for a determined place throughout the entire game. This piece of music really speaks to me as the alchemical shop music. Yeah. Way. That Actually, suspicious music where the merchant was really uh, says to me, mm, this guy is suspicious. Yeah, anyway, let me try consuming the door anyway. I could never get through all that. You could at least try. I mean, you skinny mother. I mean, no offense to you, Devar. <laughs> I don't take any offense. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I think I wouldn't eat the door just based on the fact of. Chocolate! I'd, I'd be confused because I would want to eat it because it's chocolate. But I wouldn't because it's been out in the elements. With, That's a good with, point, with... actually. Can you imagine all of those diseases those children in Hansel and Gretel <laughs> were going to get <laughs> after eating that gingerbread house? Yes, out in the open where it rains and it, it snows and it melts and it burns and it... what about the bugs? You oh, oh, you, you're, you're gonna just bother us right now? Yes. Just what to, you, you know, claim importance. Would you like to buy some shady things? Yeah, but well, look at you, you hear my shady voice. Totally shady. I mean, totally not shady. I mean, cause I'm good. I mean, evil. Okay, this is the most stereotypical uh, duck sound effect you could ever hear anywhere. <laughs> Uh, hey, got any hint, but? Ha ha ha! That's funny. Sorry. It was so funny back then. Yes, if you were a kid, that probably would have made you chuckle. But now it's like that's eh, an obvious joke. Pretty much. How come you can sell priceless antiques for so little? It's the recession. Rose-tinted glasses aside, it probably wasn't the best adventure game. Now that I look at it again. No, but it had something that other games at the time did not have, and I will uh, describe it to you once we get outside of the village. Let's have a look, Let's have a look at your Anything stuff then. Just, you know, so we can get out this out of the way, and you can Save let us pass. 
Uh, I mean, this was basically the time in which everybody was trying to be Monkey Island. Yeah, well, a lot of critics at the time, when they actually saw this game, they claimed to be, it's Monkey Island mixed with Discworld, but... It... How can you go wrong with that? <laughs> but then again, Discworld, I think, came much later than Simon did. Technically, no, well, the world... book, I mean, the books are much older, yes, yes. But, but I'm talking about the game itself. Yes, the world. game itself came in 95, and it was much worse than anything else could ever be as bad as that, honestly. Okay, let's have some of that worthless junk. Worthless <laughs> junk. And he wasn't impressed. Also, who gets to voice this guy? It must be one of the employees. To be honest, I need to check IMDB later about the voice actors it's not in this. very good voice acting. No, because the only person of worthy of note would be Chris Barry. Which was spawning it in. Yes, so who knows. Uh, Dodgy salesman repellent. Ha ha ha. Okay, let's go with it. Dodgy salesman Let's see his reaction. Sold out. Just last week. Ha! Is there anything else you want? He sold out. Obviously. Well, okay, magical stuff. Magical stuff. Magical stuff, man. Right price. Firstly, there's a strength potion. What? And of course he drinks some of it. And I think that's fake. That's a balloon, isn't it? Uh, or some sort of rubber thing. It sounded like it's made of rubber. That's pretty much why I thought it was rubber. And I must admit the ducks are nicely animated in the foreground. Yes, but they are very obnoxious with that one quack, quacking sound effect. Really gets to my nerves after a while. What I have here is a one-off. It's a unique, magical invisibility. Okay, I'm gonna say this here, folks. Most no, no, he's going to sell us the invincibility cloak. <laughs> invincibility cloak. See, uh, and of course, that's no. a fake mirror. <laughs> I don't know how you can fake a mirror, but there you go. I can't say fairer than that. Now can I? Uh, you know, I think this is pretty pointless stuff. So let's just let's just get off magical stuff. That was the last yes, let's anyway. get off the magical stuff, else? man. <laughs> to be clean. We don't really have anything no, on us right now to junk. give him for much later, though. We will. So let's just go over here because the next part here is important. Shoppy, yeah, oldie shoppy. Yeah, we do not have money, so it's best to avoid this place for yes, now. Yes, it's going to be a surprise for later what's inside it. Yeah, believe what's me. What's inside it? <laughs> what's inside the shop? Please? What's inside the shoppy? Oldie shoppy, oldie man. Yeah, oldie. I'm not. I don't know what I'm saying. By the way, I forgot the name of the bar. Is it called the Drunken Druid? Can you just read the sign? The place is called the Drunken Druid. That's the Drunken Druid, yes. Oh, good. I remembered the place. Its name. Good for you. I mean, what respectable fantasy world wouldn't have a silly named pub? Let's take you know, to matches. Get your quests in. Yeah. Okay, so we have matches now, and I'm the match for you. Let's solve a puzzle right now. Yep. Hello, dwarf man. Mind if I borrow your beard? No? Not okay. just not just not just one beard, your entire beard. Wow, even the mustache! <laughs> he took everything from this man's you know, face. It, it sure is convenient that, that a dwarf's beard is so consistently made that you can just cut it at one point and it comes off like it's a mask. The logic in this is quite uh, stretching a bit. By the way, Nubile Viking Valkyries, you can talk to them, but it's pretty pointless to do so. Yes, and they try to hit on you the entire time, I think. Or maybe it's the opposite. Okay, do, so due to time constraints, we're going to try and get through this game as quick as we can, essentially. Well, uh, Let's talk to these lovely wizards. Oh yeah, they are like... The nothing at all, the three very important looking pirates. You see, because they are four, and they're wizards, not pirates. Let's see. Okay, no, the similarities with Monkey Island are pretty obvious, we yeah. need to acknowledge them. Yes, I know. I even acknowledged it in my review of this game, actually. Okay, so, where can I find some wizards? Have you seen any wizards around? No, we're just some farmers. <laughs> well, somebody's sarcastic. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody. 
absolutely feeble accents, fellas. Are you saying we be fakes like? Well, you sound a bit cockney, if I have to be honest. Uh, nope, you definitely don't sound them. No, of course not. Good like. Our disguises are far too Who are? Then again, it wouldn't surprise me if I'm trying to go for a West Yorkshire accent, or, well, a Yorkshire accent in general. Nah, no, let's say they're Cockney, it's funnier. Also, Cockney is a much more known accent outside of uh, good old England. <laughs> yes, let's meta text. Let's, let's go meta on them. Let's go meta on them, yes. It's because it's better. It's better. What did you want to say? So you want to be a wizard, Harry? Oh sure, you do a bit chores some of us, yes, get us the booze and all that. Yes, all, yeah. the, all the jolly good stuff. Okay, so what do you know about this Calypso, man? What do you know about Calypso? We will not impart such information to you. Eh? Calypso be the leader of this fine little club of putting things atop other things. Okay, yes. let's talk to her again. Yes, mate. Did they just kick you out of the conversation? They pretty much did. I wanna be the very best at wizardry and such. Make me wizard all cry. <laughs> sure. You can't be a wizard. You're not. Out you yet. can't be a wizard, Harry. That's a different story. <laughs> well, different version of Harry Potter. Yes, <laughs> mate. Okay. Okay. I wanna be a wizard. I wanna be a pirate. I mean, a wizard. <laughs> you shall solve free trials free. Do Let's anything do anything to be a wizard then. We're that desperate, apparently. Well, desperate to get out of here, of this dump. Well, desperate to get the plot moving. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Mm, yes, mate. Yeah, that's totally right, mate. Yeah, I'm drunk. Extremely interesting. Well, the drunken monkey. It's a magical cure. To be hidden Indeed. In mm, you'll find a magical MacGuffin cure and you come back here and we shall make you a wizard, Harry. I mean, Simon or whatever your name is. Okay. Any ideas what it is then, this staff? As far as we know, its last known was Nathlin, the necromancer. What he the necromancer? Pretty sure you're telling tall tales here, guys. Then again, you're farmers dressed as wizards. <laughs> I like how earlier he says, Disguise is off, lads, even though they're not wearing a disguise. <laughs> All it just is they change the accent. Uh, what does it look like? What does this staff look like? It's about six feet tall with a crystal sphere on one end. And I get made a wizard, right? Wizard, <laughs> right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. No problem. Let's just leave. No problem here. Well, except Ness probably, probably would never become a wizard because, you know... He's killing people. With a bat. Exactly. That's a barbarian, not a wizard. <laughs> know your class. By the way, just so you know, folks, this way leads back to the blacksmith, so you're not missing any screens here. So, let's go this way, and we are going to go to our favorite place, essentially. Well, our favorite place where the game feels like it begins. Yes, it opens up after the first town, so to speak. And here we are. Okay, one thing that I absolutely adore about this game, and no other game at the time had, as far as point and click adventure went, is that this might be the first proper open world adventure game of its times. Technically, you would have a sandbox in games such as Leisure Suit Larry, but it was never a world of this dimension, of this largety, so to speak, of this size. Yeah. And there's a lot of walking around that you have to do in order to find the proper places and locations in order to solve puzzles. So most of these screens are pointless, from a narrative standpoint, but the fact that you get to traverse them to get where you need to go, it just makes, as I said, this world feel large and rich and worth exploring. 
it gives you a sense of the scope of the story, the world it's taking place in. Which and is... once you discover new locations, you can travel to them instantly using the map. Or I should say the postcard. Yeah, the ma there is a map here, but we also have a postcard. Yes, so, so why separate. don't you uh, show it up for us? Okay, but I think it will take us back to... Uh, so no, you just get to see what it looks like for now. So right now the only location available is the village because you are yet to discover anything. But this, this is the whole world you get to explore in this game. Yeah, and I might as well show off the postcard just in case, so... The postcard is it's, for saving and loading, which essentially. Is, which is pretty typical of this uh, ilk. Okay, so that's the first save we've ever made. Uh, there's a reason why I stopped here, because there's a particular conversation line that happens. Yes, as you might have noticed, the music has changed, which means there is something important here. Yeah, and also uh, I would like to note myself that... Uh, that I always adored the game just because every screen felt different and it had yes. lots of detail to it. There is so much care and uh, artistry put into designing this game and how it looks and how you can interact with it. It is a great game to play as a child. It stays with you. Oh. Oh yeah, he... Oh yes, you he does I... that when you don't do anything for a while. Look at that archaic thing he's playing. Yes, what's he called again? A talkman? It's a walkman. A walkman. It's basically something you play your cassette tapes in. Prehistoric technology, guys. This is also a history lesson. Yes. In disguise. This is what we have before MP3 players. Let's go this way. I always got scared by this wolf because yeah, I thought... just uh, out of nowhere a random wolf appears and it just runs back into the forest. It is small details such as this one that really makes you appreciate uh, a game world. Yeah. Also, this is the witch's house. Yeah, which we're not gonna go... Oh, <laughs> we're not going to go inside and exchange our body with a little girl that actually curses us and then we have to find a way to get her inside the house again to trap her and then she has to escape and then the twist is that she was the witch all along. Yeah, nothing, <laughs> nothing that complicated. It's pretty much a Sword and Stone reference later, but we'll get to that. Indeed. It's uh, pointless to go inside right now. Because we haven't got the necessary items, I would say, but yes. it's more like spells. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. And back to the silly music. I just love the soundtrack in this game. I know, I love it as well. It's one of my favorite It is musics. so soothing. Yeah, the soundtrack is very lovely and soothing to listen to. Okay, let's... Uh... Hey, what's... Where do you think you're going, mate? <laughs> Who's talking to us? What the heck? What? Are you... Okay. Chipmunks? Uh, nah, talking animals, stupid. <laughs> let's just sit. Uh, yeah, Simon, let's sit down. What's this? A talking tree stump? There has to be some sort of logical explanation for this. Yes, like you talking to us, the gamers. <laughs> yeah, get used to that, folks. Uh, Simon will do asides to the players, usually. You know, Herman Two Fruit would do that in Monkey Island. Yes, he did. But uh, he was not the main character, so it did not get annoying fast. Yeah. I, I think I'm going insane. Yeah, you must be, because you're talking to us, too. I think I'm going insane. Yes. You should be a healer then, mate. Anyway, you got any spare wood or not? Okay, are you trying to build yourself up again? <laughs> I refuse utterly to acknowledge that I am talking to a tree stump. Hey? You're not talking to a tree stump, but oh. a woodworm! Yes. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are, folks. It's not a talking tree. Oh, it's not a talking tree. Well, everything is okay then. <laughs> it's just talking worms. I like this. He has no other choice but to say this line. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize, realize you were a woodworm. woodworm. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? That's stupid! <laughs> Are you stupid? No, of course not! <laughs> yeah, I'll say of course not, of course I mean... Not. That's alright then! Yeah, how come you're talking? 
That's a very good question. Worm are talking anyway. That's just so typical. So just typical. Wow, he's a racist no, against the woodworm, isn't he? Uh, uh, no, it's stop uh, the racism. Racism is against woodworms is wrong. Racism is evil. I think that's pretty much uh, evidence. <laughs> no, I was referencing Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't mean to offend anyone. Racism against Woodworm? Uh, this would be nice to him. Look, I, I mean, we can't be snarky anyone. yet. We're not old enough to be snarky yet. I'm sorry, are you threatening me? Okay, let's I'm how can we can make it up to you then? How can I make it up to you? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real color. So is it just one woodworm talking to him or is it the entire population of the tree stump talking to him at unison like that crowd in Life of Brian? I think it's basically they have a leader, but then they have others because you do hear different voices when they're listing off different wood types. Oh yes, you're right. Ah yeah. <laughs> I'll have to explain the setup of our setup in this moment in time. Yeah, who cares what you think? <laughs> No one cares about your wood addiction. <laughs> Can I have morning wood? <laughs> well, this is leaving me pretty stumped. Thank you, we'll be here all week. Yay! Well, yeah, technically you are for a week. <laughs> uh, uh, comedy. Mad play comedy, everybody. Yes. Okay, uh... Anything to help a wood woman distress. Okay, let's just be nice, I guess. Fine. Anything to help a wood He has to sound snarky regardless. That's Rimmer for you. That's Rimmer. Yeah. Oh, that's Simon actually. Yeah, it's Simon Rimmer. <laughs> Simon Rimmer. Yeah. Hey Rimmer, would you like some Vindaloo? <laughs> it's, okay, let's I, go on. Yeah, I will. But I will explain one thing first, folks. Uh, uh, the setup here is a bit odd because the fact in order to get the best sound quality you're gonna get right now uh, Basically me and Mad Hog are in the same room with the microphone above us uh, While he's wearing the headphones, so he's the only one that can hear the voice acting and the music properly Because I played this game so much in my childhood. I can actually Remember remember most of it. So Mad Hog will get the full experience of the voice acting unlike me So let's go onwards from here Oh, that bird. I mean... Again, so much care and detail in this. Oh. oh. We're already here. You know, as a child, this looked like a much bigger world than it actually is. It actually is quite big for the time, actually. Oh, for the time? No doubt. So, so you've heard this story, right? The troll of the bridge and the... Three, Three goats. goats, but there's two goats. Where's the third Billy Goat, Gruff? You know, it just occurred to me we missed a important yeah, character. We did actually. Here. So we need to go back the direction, the opposite direction, essentially. Then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no! That's all wrong. Okay, what's your story? So they are discussing the specifics. For uh, basically the script for the fairy tale. Who's videoing them? <laughs> Us. <gasps> we are recording this game right now. We're the directors. <laughs> Mind blown. Wow, this troll sure is acting. Yeah, he certainly is. Say a bit and let me pass. I'm just going to F now. I don't know why, it makes me think of. So they're going to fire him if he doesn't comply to the script and he doesn't go on strike? 
Well, it yeah. doesn't stop. He them. actually is on strike. That's the funny part. Yeah, it actually is. That's the silliest part about all this. <laughs> It's not the fact that the goats are on script, apparently, with this. It's the fact that, you know, the trolls on strike on the script. You know, like us when we were playing Discworld. Yeah, it just it pretty much sounds like us. I'll be cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Yeah, totally a troll on strike, so I'm not even trying to act. Oh, maybe the voice actor's on strike too. By the sounds of it, <laughs> it must be somebody's family member. Yeah, it must be either that or just somebody just phoning it in. I'm too busy enjoying the water in the background. Actually, the water is beautiful and it sounds great. It does actually. Uh, let's just leave them. If you stay around, lo yeah, there you go. He will start singing his little chanty. Well, chant. Right, so we're gonna go back because we cannot pass that troll because he's on strike and we need an item in order to progress. I believe that spot might have appeared on the map. Yep, So we there can it is. instantly travel to that when we need to. Which is good to have. It's definitely good. Uh, is this the way? I think it might be this way though. There are so many choices. Ah, here's the screen that we saw from uh, ages past. Let's go down this way. Ah, ah there he is. Yeah, I believe I believe the way I pointed to earlier is that basically it's a circle essentially. Yes. Well, so, well, we might as well check to be sure. Yes, it, yeah, it is. This is the character we were talking about. This lovely barbarian over here. Oh no, the mighty Grogner is down because of a He's little splinter in his feet. In the bottom of his foot. Splinters are really bad in your feet. <laughs> okay. I know, but mighty barbarian guy. Well, maybe that's why he's glad we're here, because, you know, it's not in front of his barbarian buddies. Not in front of the Amazons at the bar. Oh, no. They would humiliate him. They will never let him live this down for the rest of his life. Okay, uh... Okay, what appears to be the problem? Yeah, we're to gonna circumvent it's every other stolen. conversation I line essentially. Because it's out. pretty pointless. Oh no, I have the splinter stuck in my foot, I can't get it out. <laughs> now, you think you would need an yeah, an item to get this out, but... But no, it's actually as refreshingly straightforward as it can get. It might sting a bit. I bet you in today's puzzle games, they would actually put a puzzle to this. Well, you say today's adventure game, oh, but really, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. thinking about only a couple of years from now. Yeah, it's true, actually. <laughs> okay, but here. Um, or, you know, if it's a Sierra game, why then he smirk right like, now... Why does he smirk like that? It looks so evil. Yes, for a second it did. Maybe it's just his normal face when he's happy. Yeah. What's on that... Direction. Ah, right. Well, uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, it's because I thought that maybe this will lead a different way as well. I mean, we are in the phase of exploring everything oh, and he's gone. Yeah, the barbarian's left to his own devices now. Well, I wish him luck. And, oh, a crossroad! Oh my gosh, so many choices! If you were a kid and you saw this, your mind would be blown with how much you could explore in this game. I like how he walks, really. <laughs> Yeah, it's I like the way he walks. It's like he's hiking, but horizontally. <laughs> oh. oh, it's him. Uh, let's just pass him because Woo! he'll he'll bother us. What show? Excuse me, boy. Yeah, he. Uh, dotter Woo! Watch out! It's a poisonous snake! Yeah. Dottering all full uh, doesn't quite describe this owl <laughs> enough. <laughs> And I like his eyes. <laughs> okay, so it's pointless to talk to the owl unless you really want to... Uh... You want the feather, though. Yes, the feather on the ground, that's very important. So you need to talk to him more often. Ah, I thought you only need one feather. Oh! Yeah, you only need no, one... No, no, what's funny, what's a really nice easter egg is that if you talk to him more than once, he will react in a very specific way. Okay, let's try. If you recall. Okay, me. let me try this again. Uh, oh, oh, that's the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Honestly, more than a scare, it looks like he was about to burl. Yeah, or have a heart attack from just being woken up. <laughs> have you remembered yet? Was he wanted yet? Wanted? He might be a Wow, uh Winnie the Pooh's owl definitely has let himself go. Yeah, I was actually gonna mention that actually. It does. Uh... No, it's more like Cedric from uh, King's Quest V. I guess it must be the love child between those two that, that this is what Whoa! they made. It's a poisonous snake. I'm just not very uh, good. Uh, but wait, uh, uh, Graham. Uh, uh, wait, what was that again? A poisonous snake. Uh, no, 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 don't bother me, Cedric. Uh, I'm pretty sure. It's a poisonous snake. Uh, no, no, I believe it's a it's a garden hose. It's a garden hose! A poisonous garden hose! Oh yes, yes, it's a poisonous garden snake. We could go on all afternoon. <laughs> yes, which we don't have time for, sadly. Yes, you yes. must be... Uh, the chosen one. Um, right. No. Uh, Stupid. Suave? <laughs> no, no. Um, Punctual? Your name. Simon? Much? That's it. Yes. Um, Worst clairvoyance act I've ever yeah. seen. How, How did you know my name? That's a good question, actually. How did you know his name? <laughs> oh. Stars told me. The stars. Oh, the stars. Yes, yes. Um, uh, 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 poisonous garden hose. <laughs> Cedric, shut up. <laughs> Cedric is in the back, Stars. yelling incoherently, <laughs> having a fever dream, Astrology? thinking he's helping somebody <laughs> in a different game. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, let's go oh, watch my future. What's my future. Your future is very, yes. very um, future. convoluted <laughs> and bleak <laughs> by the third inning. Yes. Oh boy. Very rare. Very rare. Right. In the, uh, and yet, uh, um, mm. Is that all? For the, uh, moment, yes. Great. Yes. Come okay. Back. Um, uh, yeah, sure, we'll be back later. later? Yes. Yes. Uh, I don't think I'll bother, thanks. I'm doing the, uh, screwball, yes. uh, you know, yeah, hand you signal. Yeah, cannot actually show that to anyone, but it's that's there. why I was whistling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so that's where it led to. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. This forest is very conveniently connected with every single place, isn't it? Yeah, it's connected to every facet of this place. It's very conveniently uh, put together, I have to say. I've seen buildings, actual buildings in games that are worse connected than this forest is. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. Yes, and we find the sword master of Melee Island. Oh, what does this lead to? I think I know where this leads us to. I mean, I have a vague memory of where it might lead us to, and if I remember correctly... Uh, Simon? Simon? Hello? Simon? 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 Simon! Oh, there you go. It's very particular on that screen, apparently, where it wants to walk. Look at the beautiful daisies. Look at the sky beyond. Ah, uh, okay, yes. Okay, you have something to pick up here that was actually cleverly hidden and difficult to find. Really? Because I actually don't remember anything being left in the screen at all. <laughs> I don't think there is anything here at all when I came here last time many years ago. I could have ago. sworn. Mm, we'll see later, because it might be my memory. Hello, he go. Oh, no, it's... It took a mouse! It's the beauty of nature. There's so many pointless screens, but yet you can't help but love them for it. Yes, I am gawking at the beautiful tapestry of screens and boards that is beholding in front of me. I mean, unlike other point-and-click adventure games, most backgrounds were nicely delightful to look and at. And it disappears behind a tree, essentially. <laughs> okay. What's this then? Okay, what's all this? What's all this then? It says caution. Men at work. Paleontological dig in process. Okay, let's talk. Oh to yeah, the you hole. can talk to the guy inside the cave. Hey, I mean, uh, the cave in. The hole. The hole in Isn't the ground. The it's a hole. It's the hole at the bottom of the sea. Oh wait, the forest. 
<laughs> sewage worker. Are you some sort of sewage worker? Ha! Do you not know who I am? You do not know who I am. I am Steve Zissou. <laughs> also, I like how he's got this modern, like, you know, uh, lights and, you know, keep out of this area. Yes, uh, working uh, lines, as it were. You're a pirate looking for buried treasure. I've caught you red-handed. You're Scrooge McDuck. Army matey. <laughs> Well, rag me back, Pipes. <laughs> well, well, rag me back, Pipes. You caught me in the middle of pirating. Uh, of course, that renowned digger of deep holes. You're pretty good in digging holes for yourself, hey? Philistine, I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. Well, you in the world? You must be very good at digging for plot holes, too, then. Dan Quail? I don't know who that is. My name is Simon, not Philip Stein. <laughs> He's, I think he meant Philip Stein. Ha! Uh, do we have business with this guy at the moment? Not really, but it's best to it's best to know beforehand what he's looking for, though. So then you know to give the item to him, essentially. Yes, because this is what adventure games basically entail to in the end. Yeah, certain characters you... You solve a series of seemingly unrelated puzzles, and all of these uh, mysteriously come together by the end. Yeah, so let's go this way. Maybe, hopefully that will mean something this way. Oh! Oh yeah, it's the Dwarf's Cave. I and you know, we could just go inside right now if you wanted. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, first of all, let's pick up this inconspicuous rock. Yes. For no apparent exactly. reason. Exactly. There's a word written on it. Oh, did he just say the password that was on there? It has the word beer chalked on it. Beer. Yeah, that's a password apparently, guys. Yes. So, so there must be a forgetful dwarf in this area. Okay, I don't think we have the necessary items to actually get past the first area of that cave over there. No, so we do not. We might as well go inside there <clears throat> later on. Yeah, we will. But do. we could go inside it right now if we wanted. Okay. Oh, this will be important for later. That is a very inconspicuous skeletal entrance you got there. <laughs> You're right, it does look like Skeletor's renting I, out. Oh, it looks like the entrance to Castle Greyskull, honestly. Let's take a look at the doors. Extremely large and daunting. Oh, alright then. Wait! Is there something there? Uh, that rock over there, it seems to be. You mean this one? Yeah. Yeah, I picked up the paper that was underneath it. It's a yes, that's what we needed! It's a shopping it's list. A shopping list. This, this is kind of the thing, folks. You have to get into this forest just to get items to solve stuff in the village later, essentially. As with all adventure games, there is a lot of backtracking. Well, Except look... now, the backtracking is enriched and improved by giving it a whole open world feel. Yes. And that I... mushroom over there in the background looks very sad. <laughs> What's with that face? <laughs> That's never explained. It just bothers me so much. Ah. We will not go in there just yet, because that leads to a very particular place we will... Well, a particular new area, let's put it that way. Was there something on the tree? Nah, that was nothing on that tree, actually. Uh, you see, it's been a while since I played this game, so yeah. my memory of it might be a bit... Um, foggy in certain areas. I, last time I played this game was about... Hey look, it's the sad what lumberjack. Yes, yeah, we'll talk to him later. Yeah, let's ignore his woos. It's very loud woos. How will I live? Yeah. Oh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm not okay. <laughs> okay, there's actually something we can do later, but it's not on this side. It's on the other side. You know how long it took me to figure out I could just go uh, down the cliff just by clicking on it. Yeah, I know. Walking yeah, yeah. to it. I've been stuck on that forever. George? Oh, Gorge. No, Gorge. <laughs> His name is Gorge. Gorge, Gorge. Washington. It has a face on it. <laughs> yeah. Gorge George. <laughs> Gorge Washington, more or less. Okay. Okay. Can what you see done? anything wrong with this continuity in between this board and the next one? Uh, well, on the fact there's a. There was a well, you see, there. you exit from this board to the right, I and you reappear from the right to go to the left. Yeah, oh yeah. That is bad continuity there. 
Yeah, it is a bit. Now that you mention it. Okay, uh, let's look at this woodcutter guy. He looks miserable. Oh, you don't say. Okay, let's talk to the woodcutter. Yeah. yeah. Let's just be like this to him. The sun has got his hat on. Hip 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 hooray! Who are you? A wandering minstrel? A wandering minstrel? A wandering minstrel. <laughs> I like minstrels, but I doubt if even you could cheer me up at the moment. What did I do to deserve? Where could I have gone wrong? What did I do to deserve this, sir? Uh, yeah, so... I think you're... Okay, basically the deal is that he bought a petrified forest, I think, and he cannot the cut problem? the wood. Trees. But he needs mithril. Actually, it's not petrified. I believe it's protected by elven magic. Which is even worse. Yes. <laughs> and I don't see any elves in this game, either. I thought woodcutters were problems for trees. <laughs> I thought woodcutters were problems for trees. Not these trees around here. But yeah, let's go on to this tirade about the age of the tree by counting the rings. Is it true that you Why not? The age of a tree by counting its rings? Of course. And the same applies to human. Here, let me cut off your arm <laughs> to prove it. <laughs> ah! There was a bit of delay there because I had to realize that it was the shock. Yes. What's so special okay, what's so special these about trees? these trees then? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Boing? Like that. Right. Uh. <laughs> yes, are you holding the axe the right way round? Oh, shut up. Sounds like they must be rubber trees to me. Sounds like they must be rubber trees to me. Yeah, I guessed as much. Uh, Is that supposed to be a joke? Right I guess. <laughs> I tried holding it in every way imaginable. But I guess no it would amuse else. somebody. <laughs> Who would magically protect a tree? Wizards are a weird bunch. Probably, uh, uh... I don't know, uh... Eco-terrorists? <laughs> Go back, go back to the normal forest then. Go back to where you came from, you would cut. <laughs> it looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. That's pretty much the vibe I'm getting from this situation. The people who cast their magic on the trees are all like tree haggers and yeah, such. They're like all like your kind's not welcome here, woodcutter. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a story in its own right. <laughs> Uh, like a more simplistic version of Why Princess Mononoke, uh, and with the conflict you know between human cross? and progress you know versus nature. Yeah. Milrith? It's an anagram of Mithril. It's also the hardest metal known to man. No, I disagree. Uh, the hardest metal known to man has to be. Um, let's see, I believe I've, I believe Chloe mentioned it was tungsten when I, in the campaign, when I researched the no, hardest I was metal in the no, world. No, I was going to go for a Wolverine Skeleton. Oh, you know? an adamantite. Adamantite. <laughs> yeah. Adamantium. Yeah, adamantium, that's it. Adamantite is, uh, I believe, a D&D &D metal. Yes, I accidentally said the wrong one. It's uh, okay, I was confused as well. This is, this joke here. You should make your action out of me. I'm well hard. I doubt you're as hard as Melrith. I would you're like to either. see him actually swing well, Simon to a tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? We get it. He needs a Mithril axe. Or at least he needs Mithril. If so we're rare, going to I find Mithril. And find guess who's got when Mithril in spades? <laughs> Definitely not the dwarves. <laughs> Definitely not the dwarves. <laughs> it's not like they're mining for metal. Or anything. No, seriously, he has a metal detector on him, which basically is to solve this puzzle another way. Yes. Finding Mithril with a metal detector. Also, a metal detector in medieval fantasy land. This is the weirdest part I always thought, even when I was a kid. What's yeah, what is it doing in this dimension? In this dimension? What are you doing in this dimension? Good okay, question! This metal detector's detecting metal. Why don't you take it and look around for some Melrith? Yeah, do my job for me, thank you. Okay. 
There well, we go. He could have just gone look for metal on his own and then we could ransack his house. I guess he's not very good at it. No, he's too busy being depressed and such. But we can't ransack his house just yet because we have to solve his problem. And once we solve his problem, then we can ransack his house. It's not like logic. He, it's not like he can lock the door or anything once Adventure he leaves. Adventure game logic. <laughs>
been a long time since That's I the faces I you. tend to make when you uh, do those sort of jokes, apparently. Too much to ask. Yes, yes it is. Hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? Oh, I want that whistle. It's a magic whistle. Uh, it's Just mine. Whistle. It's mine, you can't touch it. It's mine. Just to, you, you know... Touch it. This is how you deal with trolls, folks. <laughs> yes. You tempt them with whistles around your neck. And they will stupidly blow on them. We lost the whistle though, but... I was just going to suggest eating you in. I like this next bit. Terrible voice acting included. Okay, so we have a Tom and Jerry moment here. Essentially. Spike with Tom here. No, 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 sir. Ow! Ow! His eyes! Chuck him, in the Chuck him in the river. Poor guy! Honestly. Ah, I feel so bad he's dead. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe the troll is dead. The, 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 well, the least. The, the unenthusiastic troll is dead. Well, I guess the goats are happy that their problem has been solved for them. Yes, and they applauded it. By the way, we're picking up the sign, but. There's no use for this damn thing. Uh, yeah, you're right. Why is it even an option? It's like the chainsaw without the gasoline. <laughs> I'm actually curious, what does this lead to? Oh god! Oh no! Leaving! <laughs> Wait, does he do requests? That's important to know. Does he do requests? Can he play the 1812 overture? Let's ask him. I do beg your pardon. Thank you. How? Oh, do, are we not. Oh, there we are. Do you do requests? Do you do requests? Do you have a Patreon I can donate to? Professional musician. You could have fooled me. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? What I heard didn't sound too musical to me. I see, old chap. I bid you good day. I'm not. I would rather prefer to hear you do "Ode to Joy" on that thing. Yes, that is probably the only reenactment of the thing that would be. Fairly tolerable in my presence. Oh, squirrels! Squirrels! Oh, squirrels! So squirrels! 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 Squirrel girls! I mean, no, just squirrels. Yeah, just squirrels. Okay, so where does this lead, actually? I'll probably remember when I get there. Unless that was pointless. Wait. I just realized. I just realized if this leads to where I think it leads to, and again, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit finicky in this regard. Basically, it happened to me as well when I used to play it back in the day. Let's try this again, Simon. Oh no, we do. Yeah, we do go to a new place. I actually was a bit paranoid then. We were going to go in circles, in circles, and realized that the troll puzzle was pointless. <laughs> but. Even no, though that would be just uh, cruel. That would be stupid. <laughs> also that. Oh. Oh, another sad boy. Let's see this sad boy here. Off. What appears Oof. to be the problem? He's more like... Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Yes, like the wizards in town, you see. <laughs> <laughs> They're really cockney farmers in disguise. Okay. Oh, he wants magic beans. What beans? beans? I, 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 I think actually he he already has the beans. Oh yes, he needs water for them. We have water, don't we? Yes, yeah, funny you mentioned that. I planted them there, but they haven't grown an inch yet. Okay. Oh, you're the stupid boy who sold his cow in exchange of magic beans, haven't you? Maybe you should water them. This is basically fractured fairy tales. Yeah. Uh, I remember something along those lines. That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go. How about using soda instead? I'm one step ahead of you, mate. Well, don't just stand there then. Pour it on the seeds. Oh, so you're automatically gonna use it. Yep. You drown them. You drown the you seeds. Drown out, no? <laughs> I think this is my yep. to Yep. Stage left. The, I mean, stage right. Okay. Now okay. go back. Yeah, we go back. He's not. He shouldn't be there now. And we just pick up 
what was left behind. That's the end of Jack and the Beanstalk. What an anticlimactic end yes. to a beloved classic. Yes, a thieving wizard took his seeds. So no giant to fight then. No giant no to golden fight. golden goose. No magical harp that talks. Well, I think that's only the Disney version. Yeah, true. And... Okay. Oh, we're back here! Wait, let me... No, wait, is this a different road altogether? Uh, it might be a different road. I think they obviously reused the board for this one, but unlike the previous board, they don't have the exit up there. Oh, yeah, actually, no, it actually went around in circles. Okay, I get it now. So, we went down here, and I believe... Oh, wait, we actually have... I believe that should be on the map now, actually, where we came from. Yeah, the crossroads. Crossroads. And... We are at the crossroads of fate. The crossroads of fate. The shall, crossroads of white. Shall dictate our, our future. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Yes, we cannot enter this uh, palace because uh, for some reason uh, the bell is missing it's a... a metal bell. Uh, one thing that we have on us. Clapper, yes. That's the name of it, a clapper. It's a good thing we can just attach it to it. Yeah, Without glue or anything. Yeah, because I believe there's a hook on the inside of bells usually. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's a terrible bell. It's a terrible bell. Not as awful as that horn from before. <laughs> <laughs> the sound effect was perfect. Rapunzel just smacked us with her hair. Yeah, Simon, I think you're gonna need... He's having a wily coyote moment. Uh, I'm just going to go off screen for a second because yeah, it, uh, we don't have the budget to animate this. Yeah, Simon, here's some oil. And here I am. There, there you go. You got it. Uh, can we take this bow? I don't think so. I, I pick it up and he just uses it as a climbing thing. Oh well, that's pretty much its only use anyway. You know, I realize that we are a bit too early to be in this palace yeah, we're at the moment. Yeah, well, we're too early for the one part of the palace, mm -hmm. but we are at the right point for one particular item, though. Hello! Cool. Haba, 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 haba! What the hell do you want? What the hell do you want? <laughs> Why is everyone so... Uh, mean. M well, mean-spirited in this Well, land. you are a sarcastic young lad. Nobody likes that. Which wicked witch would that be? Which wicked witch would that? Be? Might as well just ask this, despite the fact she didn't say anything. The she wicked witch of the West. Of course. Piglet. It was she that perverted my beauty and imprisoned me here. Of course, there is a joke about this and a payoff, a very specific payoff. Yeah, let's do this right. Hang on, did you say piglet? Yeah, because she got kidnapped when she was a piglet, apparently. Hang on, did you say piglet? Maybe this will explain everything. My god! Yeah. <laughs> Th this is a pig. Makes the same it's Two Face as a pig. And when they see my face, they run screaming from the tower. Doesn't she the look stunning, folks? Broken, I guess, in a way. From, from another dimension. Why is it that your trip is, you know, uh, so far as being about anthropomorphic sort of characters with humans? So you're kissing an alpha pig in the face, and she becomes a full pig! Because that's the joke, she was a pig all along, and she was cursed into being a princess pig thing. Well, we're taking her with us. Well, sure. If Guybrush Freepwood can fit a dog in his pants, oh my god, I just realized how does that sound, <laughs> then yes, uh, Simon can fit a pig in his hat. Well, except that this actually makes more logical sense than the dog in the pants. Also, excuse me, but I thought that Rapunzel hair was actually part of Rapunzel. <laughs> it, should, it should have been, but then again, it looked like she cut it. Anyway, let's check this dressing screen. Yeah, nothing special about it though. Underwear all around here. This will be come important later, the floorboards, but there's really nothing else in this room that we can use. Uh, except this hair. To climb out, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. 
Right. So what shall we do now? Well, uh, we can keep exploring the woods, as it were, up until we can't anymore. Or we can just go back and start solving puzzles. <laughs> uh, we just go this way. By the way, we'll be back here a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just uh, relieving my childhood. Wait, 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 what was your name? Repulsor? Repulsor! <laughs> That's the name of the, of the pig? <laughs> you never noticed! I never know that that was the name of the pig! Repulsor! <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that. This is very special to me, this game. Yes. It's alright. Me too. So, the chocolate truffle door. Yep, we get the pig to eat it. So, we had the pig to eat the door because we couldn't eat it ourselves. Because hygiene, I guess. No, oh. because he couldn't stomach it, apparently. Only the dog was made of chocolate truffle, apparently, so... Why would you do that? Why would you only make the door like that? Yeah, everything else seems normal in here, really. Oh, there's a table. Full of stuff. It's all laid and ready for tea. And... Oh! Ready for tea, you say? Hey, it's five o'clock! <laughs> no, not yet. Not quite yet. Not quite yet in merry old England. As of right now. We're we going to need that. We're gonna need that immediately. Yes. Obviously, you've seen the bees outside. Yes, we need the- CONSUME THE PIG! I'm not Dr. Do you know what, let's, let's try and consume the pig. Dr. Doolittle. Apple sauce and I'd be happy to. Oh, he is actually considering it. Oh, great. So, is there anything else you need to take from this place? I, I don't, don't see, remember, I don't, actually. I actually don't see anything else in this room at all. That sticks out to me, item-wise. Let's just get out this door over here, Simon. And we use the smoke box on the beehive. What's funny to me is that we are doing first all the things I happen to do much later in the game, in my original playthrough. Yeah, same here actually. I pretty much did things. So let's which... poison the bees and we kill the bee movie before it starts production. Yes, so... What's the deal with you poisoning the only... Ah, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> it's too big for me. Uh... Wait, can I? I know there's a way to get this honey. Oh, Just wax. Just get the wax. Oh, there it is. It's very particular what, where to click on it. I took some beeswax. Okay, so hide. I took some beeswax. <laughs> I'm sure that's a joke. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, I know there's a use for this somewhere, but I need to remember where though. Uh, I'm sure it will come to us as we continue exploring. Yes, it probably will do. I think you I know... should go to the shop bee now. Actually, I want to go first to the uh, to the compost at the backyard. Ah, yes, that big... Okay. The so, beans! So, this is pretty much not rocket science. This is just gardening 101. Yes, you put magic beans in the soil, they grow up instantly. Gardening! Yep, it's powerful, magical So apparently compost. this was not a beanstalk so much as it was a, a watermelon stalk, as it were. Green and that will be very useful for one particular moment. Individual. Yes, so we will keep that a surprise because it's quite amusing. Now, let's see, what other items do we have on us that we can abuse? I don't think there's anything else we can do here, but unless we want to actually put the shopping outside. Yeah. Because because that box will stay there indefinitely until we decide to use it to our uh, liking. Let's go inside the shopping. Now, we kept this person a surprise in here. This will be quite a reveal, I have to say. More revealing than repulsor. More repulsing than repulsor, I'd say. Aha! Well, hello there, <laughs> lovely gents. Well, I heard about three-headed monkeys. No, I dot dot dot. Sadly, we cannot vegetable. buy anything just yet from the shop because we haven't got the money yet. So, uh, yeah, they're kind of arguing with each other constantly. You'll have to restrain. It's a two-headed punk shopkeeper. Look. 
This is my body. They knew what, what they yours. were doing with this yeah. line. Yes. Excuse me. They definitely knew. How can I help you? I actually don't know why we're talking to them because there's really no point talking to these guys. How can I help you? Well, lady and man. I mean, would they be considered the first gender fluid character? I thought they were two brothers, honestly. Oh, really? It's because one of them sounds like a woman? Unless it's supposed to be. No, I think it's just uh, more fancy than the other one. Hard information got any. <laughs> no, let's not insult them. Hard information got any? What sort of information? No, I think it's just a fancy, fancy male guy, gay oh. stereotype, if you will. Ah. Uh. Honestly, considering his appearance, I thought he would have been the brutish of the two. Yeah. Who the hell is Carmen Miranda? Who is Carmen Miranda? Unless it's Carmen San Diego, but there's I to. Nah, never mind. Let's what ask a small, complicated question. You know, I just realized we never bothered to ask anybody useful information about the sword did the sorcerer. Yeah, you know, uh, that's... Uh, which is the villain of the game that we have to defeat. He likes jellied anchovies. Pretty much you can go through this game without knowing zilch squat about this guy. Zilch squat. Why you I... know, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. How about, who the hell is Carmen Miranda? She, she's definitely more important than sorted. Where's the door? <laughs> Where's the door? No need to be rude. Okay, let's just give him the shopping list. Actually, it's like the first time we're giving something to someone. You're not the regular person. I think. He's sick. No. Okay then. Tell the delivery boy we'll leave it outside when we finish making it up. Okie dokie. So that avenue will be set up now. Yes. We need to come back at a later date. To, um, shall we say, find a way to intrude ourselves into a certain goblin's house or keep, yes, as it were, a, a keep that is suspiciously like a certain, uh, certain 1980s cartoons castle. Yeah. Okay. So I think actually I think right now we can go to the next part of the area. I think because we don't have all the items necessary to deal with the dwarfs. Lines, yeah. Not to mention we don't have wood for the worms and we don't have mithril for the lumberjack. There's quite a fair few things that we still need to get and do essentially. And prepare for a scene change, uh, for scenery change. Yes, well we were in the forest level, now we're entering, very smoothly actually, Yeah. for once in video games history, we are entering the swamp level. Yep, a lovely swamp area. And we're going to meet up with the most iconic character of the game. <laughs> yes. Let's open the door. Let's just rudely intrude on this place. Of course, Simon. Of course. This is the first time you would knock on somebody's door. Not like you could do that any other time. Alright. Oh god, of course they would give him this voice. He always has this voice. I'm a sidekick in Thundercats. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Surprise! I don't know why I like the Swamplings design here. Hey, somebody's come visiting me. I'm so lonely. I am suicidal, you see? You know, when I was, uh, even as a kid, I felt bad for stuff like this. You know, I would have felt bad for him, but then I heard him talking. Yeah. Uh. Are you some sort of boogie person? Nah, let's be a bit rude, I guess. Not a boogie person. I's one and only Swampling. I is the Swampling. Yes. The Again, like I said, he's he's well designed for simple as a simple design, in my opinion. But 
revolted. Uh, Let me out of here but he does I make you up. feel guilty for dealing well, with him. Like, yeah, this. The way we do, yes. We have to trick him to leave the house. And then he never comes back. Yeah. No one ever comes to see me anymore. Oh, poor thing. I well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, y you know. Oh um, my gosh, it's his birthday. I know. Oh, that is so sad. That's why I felt really bad for him when I came here the first time because it was his birthday. I was like, no, I feel bad for him now. I'm, I'm stuck here now, <laughs> forever, <laughs> eating whatever swamp soup. It's your birthday. It is. Nobody How old are you? Yet. I have to know. He's eight. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Why he cries. How old? Yes, all of his bestest friends. No idea it was uh, your birthday. The, the local frog, uh, the owl, that one mosquito one time. The, oh, and don't forget the butterflies. Yes, the troll. Oh, that caterpillar. The troll was my best friend. I thought he was coming for sure. I wonder what happened to him. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, here we are. B well, by the way, as a side note, I think it's funny that out of every character I heard talking, well, that you heard talking, the Swampling is the only I one I that I can it. barely hear from the headphones from here. That's how shrill his voice is, isn't it? It sounds it. Okay, what's in it? That's what I want to know. What's in it? Oh, the usual, you know, algae, alloy, swamp materials, actually, human flesh. Actually, oh, of course, swamp mud. Oh no! Oh no, he's going to cry now. Oh no, please. Oh come on, uh, curse us and our conscience. Yeah. I don't like how he cries. It looks it look like snot is going off his nose instead of the tears. Uh, yeah, you know, I quite fancy a bowl now. I quite fancy dying. Yes, right after here. the sub story. I... Extra woodlouse works well. Extra woodlouse works well. To you instead of me. No, uh, no, <laughs> no, Simon. No, that is your problem, not ours. Better you than us. <laughs> oh, goody, someone else has come to visit, yes. But there was nobody there. Aww. Oh my god, this is so sad. This is the most saddest scene ever conceived. I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty more where that's coming from. Uh, 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 you know, it's a good thing. <laughs> it is a good thing you actually have your jar with you. Please, because have a mercy. second helping mercy. would be absolutely not proposable. Yeah, because we actually need his soup. Strangely enough, we also need him to go out of the house. So let's see. Just look for that jar. There we go. Would you believe I actually missed this jar the first time? So I was actually stuck in this area for a while. Mm -hmm. Before I noticed I missed the jar. Also that you could leave at any point while he was not watching. Yeah. Like and he would not he would not feel bad that you were gone. Oh no, we have to eat another stew. Uh please, please have mercy. Have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how Chris Barry is like, oh, no, please, have mercy. No, please, don't go. <laughs> please, I don't so want So now to... what, again? Not again? Yes, we have to eat a second helping. The game expects you to do this, actually. Oh. Yeah. I'm surprised the sick kind of goes through the floorboards. Oh, no. I've run out of... Hooray! Oh, thank God he has run out of it. Yeah, apparently he had only three helpings. Of it. Sorry. Is that the plot twist? So he's going to go out and find more ingredients to make his beloved swamp stew. Stay I like his hat though. And he was never seen again. This is the saddest story ever told. Yeah, it is. And we're just gonna move this aside. We're not gonna be able to do anything. I'll show you why, but. 
we're going to need a very specific item from there, but we cannot actually proceed because there is a further obstacle in our way. This. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's actually two things we can do in the forest now again. Uh, let me think where the guy was. I'm surprised that the swamp place doesn't appear on the map. Yeah, no, because it's a main area. Ah, there yes, he is. Yes, let's get rid of him once and for all. A sousaphone, that's what it's called. A sousaphone? That's even worse. Okay, this is funny. I, well, this is amusing. So he plays American football it's or fun. rugby? Yeah. This is your I'm surprised day. he didn't I notice you actually threw a giant watermelon <laughs> in his tuba. I'm surprised too, actually. Really? Sure. Just hand it over and I'll return it within an hour. Fun enough, we need this item for a very particular point in the- Oh gosh, I cannot stop being in awe every time he puts such a large object inside his hat. We're ignoring that guy now. He's forever forgotten. Lost to the tides of time. And will be forgotten entirely by everyone and his grandmother. Yep, nobody cares. Okay, let's go to the next area. Of copyright infringement uh, area. Uh huh. We'll we'll see about a particular place. Uh huh. Okay, so this actually me and Madhawk share the same experience because I came on the screen not expecting anything here, but then there you lo and behold. Oh look, vines. Some vines that are not placed in a very well, I mean, speak you s yeah, spot. it's not a very obvious spot, but then again, that's the point of puzzle adventure games anyway, so... Yeah, well, this is a bit cheating, if you ask me. Yeah, so, let's just go down it, because I actually did not realize you could go down this either. Uh, hello there, Gollum. I mean, Smeagol. I mean, non-distinct, um, original character. <laughs> Well, his name is Gollum, apparently. We don't even know his oh name. Oh my god, really? Yes. Are you kidding me with this? Nope. <laughs> hmm. There's actually a particular reason why he's called Gollum, but he's not actually Gollum. Well... Keep us your ring, precious! What a bizarre creature. Okay, let's talk to him. Excuse me? Yes? Okay, the voice is wrong. Yes. Also, can I also say that... When I first time saw this guy, I thought it was a clay man. A clay man. As in now like... he's supposed to be Gollum from Lord of the Rings, he even says the same things. Yeah, this is kind of the thing I basically didn't get when I was younger because I didn't... No, me neither. So I've not read Lord of the Rings at the time. I did not even know if Lord of the Rings existed back then. Uh, do you me? Who forgot the sunscreen? Don't you call me precious, mate. Hobbities? What the hell are they? It's a copyright-free version of Hobbits. Okay. <laughs> I, hope I hope this isn't copyright infringing. Well, okay then. It's just the annual meeting of the Tolkien Appreciation Society. The Tolkien Appreciation Society? The Tolkien Appreciation Society. <laughs> in a they acknowledge Tolkien in a fantasy land. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, even Simon you know, doesn't know who Tolkien is. You know, I thought this might have been clever at the time, but it really isn't all that clever, to be honest. No, it's not. Okay, you know, let's... Who's Tolkien? What? What did you say? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Tolkien is the greatest author ever to draw breath. Surely you've heard of Lord of the Fingal Ornaments. Lord of the Fingal Ornaments? What about the short man with the hairy feet? Oh, look, look. Tolkien. Game. You must have heard of it. If you're going to do a parody of Tolkien and his writing, and you're going to the trouble to change the original title of his magnum opus, then why not change the name Tolkien himself? You think that it would make more sense? I mean, in Simon the Sorcerer Free, uh, they did take the Mickey out of D and D, but they did it twice actually. But in the third one, it's a bit more noticeable because they had a bunch of people playing D and D in a cabin at night in Simon the Sorcerer Free. And they were playing D&D &D of a different kind of basically playing 
what we would experience in our life, not oh, the fantasy world. Yeah, I've seen that before. So it's a bit on the nose, really. Yes, so this is inconsistent. You change the name of Lord of the Rings, but you do not change the name of Tolkien. Which is weird. And not very consistent. I could dress as that wizard bloke. Yes, you know, Randolph. <laughs> yeah. Randolph the right. <laughs> yeah, Randolph the right. No, Randolph the right. <laughs> That's why I said the ri the right. I said Randolph the right. <laughs> uh, did he pick up the fishing rod? Did he think up the fishing rod as well? No, it's just that it's my year on dinner duty. I haven't even had a bite yet. Oh yeah. Yes, we do. But you know what? Let's just be the dumbass and say dial for a pizza. Why don't you just that is actually a puzzle in Simon one, 3. Oh, it is. Right. Really bad one. It's a terrible one. And, you know, let's just give it to him. Luckily, because we're not interested in whatever else he has to say. We got the gist of this character. Really? Yeah. And his being of existing. He's basically a cosplayer. And they're role playing, apparently, in there. It's concentrated. Just add boiling water in that little curtain. You can have the vision rod in return. Ta. I'll go and join the others looking for the ring. What ring? I like to think no. Simon killed everyone that day with this stew. Well, he's looking for the ring. Yep. We know that. Oh, and for no reason, we're gonna be looking for that ring now. Oh, and guess what? We just fished it out! Well, no. We just got a boot. The one boot. It's the one boot. Ah, the one can of something. The one can of fish. The one can of iron brew that Sometime Matt Hogg... later. The one can of iron brew that Matt... <laughs> yes, the one can of iron brew I drank in the plane. Uh -huh. That was bad. If I knew you were going to drink that, I would have warned you off of it. Hell. What? The... It does work. Yep. Take so he did find the ring out. at last, just fishing it out of the river. That easy. Yeah, it, well, after a couple of hours of pointless junk. So, I find this quite funny that the ring was still in the general vicinity and not taken by the current. The great ring. It, has it must be a very heavy it. ring. Yeah, it must be. Uh, uh, we can't take the fishing rod. Uh, None of the junk either, apparently. Oh, can we look at the cave? There appears to be much merriment going on in there. Much merriment? I'm not going in there. My mummy told me not to party with yes. strangers. Yes, Simon, everyone is dead inside there now, and it's all your fault. But you won't know that, because you're like that little girl from, uh, Harvey's Eyes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Seriously, there's always something to do with that swamp stew in every one of these games. <laughs> well, it's... I guess... Spoilers alert, you see the swampling in every one of these games. Well recurring characters and recognizable staple of the series and whatnot. Yeah, I get that. Oh yeah, I remember what we need the wax for. I just was thinking about it just now. Oh, oh in the meantime, we have that box to, you know, get, get into. inside of. Yes, that box, because we have the necessary items to actually complete. Oh yeah, we need to obstruct the guy's uh, beer dispenser, as it were. But first things first, we need to talk to the barman, sadly. Eh. Good morrow, I mean, it's not Good the morrow, worst thing, but wow. still. Meh. Uh, fine establishment you have here. Uh, Makes me a wet wizard, barkeep. Let's no. ask about Calypso. Because we haven't asked about Calypso either. Yeah, we didn't care at all. It's like we're going through the motions. Especially I actually played like this back in the day as well, actually. Yeah, who cares about the plot? Let's solve puzzles! <laughs> okay, what do you know about Sordid? A very sordid man he is. I saw him do it. What? Nothing? Really? Okay. <laughs> I'm giving you a weird look, just yes. for the audience's sake. Yes. <laughs> Okay, sordid business you have here, by the way. <laughs> I mean, helping boost business, are we? Business? 
because everybody is a bit more depressed. <laughs> Everyone comes to the bar to drink because of Sodden. Yeah, I mean, we still cannot figure out how he was elected. <laughs> I mean, so far his policy has been turn everyone to stone. Yeah. How did that happen? The system is broken, man. So he may be a bit power crazy and all that, but who isn't these days? He might be a bit power crazy, but hey, I kind of like how he speaks his mind. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, you talk a lot. Okay, I came from another dimension. From another dimension. Another dimension. As I said. Sparkles everywhere as he says that you talk a lot talk don't a lot, you though you? I'm a bartender the punters expect local gossip and general small talk from me I would have thought it would be funny if the barkeep actually says and you certainly ask a lot <laughs> That probably would have been a nice comeback <laughs> But no, he's actually proud of his uh, uh, Talking abilities as a barkeep. Yeah, you need a good talking ability as a barkeep. Okay uh, Make mine a wet now. wizard Make mine a wet wizard. Can't believe Hang that's a real door. beverage. Oh, it's not. Uh, that's uh, obstruct the beer barrel sure with this with this wax. Here, Yet another puzzle that I was tickled me a while to figure out. <laughs> I'm surprised no one I notices. On the barrel with the wax. Thank you. We couldn't really understand it otherwise. We couldn't have noticed you doing that. I'm sorry, sir. I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's okay. I'm underage anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised here, he did not ask for his documents. Here. Yeah, for ID or anything. The bartender is very well fed. Yep, he's a very jolly man he is. Somebody better not tell him uh, that hey, Repulsor is taking a nap in the chocolate house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a leaflet, nice. Happy hour at the we'll need that. Druid. Ale for one gold piece of mug. There's also a free beer voucher attached. Oh yes, we'll need that. For okay, so explain this to me. Yes, we waxed his beer can. His beer barrel. He brought it outside. How does that prompt Another him to give you a dépliant? That's completely unrelated. I think it's basically one advertisement, and plus, if you remember, he said, "Here, lad, give this to your dad." Because, you know, he said he's underage, I think. Oh, okay. So maybe it's that. That makes sense. We have a dad to give that one to, don't we? Yes, but... But... We never see that dad. <laughs> or mum, actually. But yet, strange enough, in Simon's Sorcerer 4, you see the brother, at least. No, I meant we have somebody to give that one the plan to. Yes, we right do. Right now. We actually do, actually. So let's do it. Yes, let's go into the dwarven mine. There's no problem. What could problem. possibly go wrong? We're totally no, a dwarf. The very sad-looking mushroom there is very worried. Of course you are. Now sod off. We'll take the sharp end of your spear. Yeah, you forgot nice to wear the beard. People. I did that on purpose, actually, just to show that. So let's wear the beard. This is the only time that the adjective wear is of any use. Yeah, which is weird, really, to me. I mean, that's why future games wow. would actually uh, make all of these options a bit more streamlined. Yeah. And use becomes the uh, uh, adjective, or the verb, I should say. The verb for pretty much all actions that are not picking up objects or talking. Okay, let us head into the mine. We're definitely a dwarf now. What's the password? I ho uh, Abacus, Abby, Abdomen. Beer! Is it... I like this. Hear the, how the voice line says it. Is it beer? You may pass. Right on. I like how he says it like that, like, is it beer? Beer! 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 Okay, let's first go down here because there is an item we would like to have. So, um, nobody's going to acknowledge me? Okay, no, sure. No, no one's gonna acknowledge us at all. There is a lovely So, gentleman. look at those dwarves hard at work. Definitely hard at work, especially this one on the floor. Hard at work or hardly working? Ha uh -huh, eh? uh -huh. Okay. Wait. He's wearing shoes, but yet this happens. Apparently, he was guarding this key with his back. And I believe he moves once you... Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, wait, he does. Okay, so all these barrels are empty, I think. I think they're empty. 
they are beer barrels. I get the strange feeling dwarves are like uh, into something here a lot. Hmm. What gave you that impression? Okay, how about you, God? Let's talk to you for a bit. Excuse me. Hello. Okay, this puzzle had wow. always bothered me as a child. Really? Stop. Yes, no, I will explain really why in a moment. But let's first have a talk with the guard. Like, we had to uh, bother him, apparently. Axe face skull splitter? Axe face skull <laughs> Please tell me. Please, game, tell me there is a dwarf called that. We'll see. I am oh, did I press the wrong one? No, you're not. Fair enough. So naff off. Oh yeah, I did. But I'm standing in for Axe Face Skull Spitter. Why? What's wrong with him? <laughs> Some sort of virus. It's really terrible. <laughs> oh, so he does exist. He was caught short. <laughs> Some trolls mistook him for a chair. <laughs> Some yes. Mistook him for a chair. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You know you could do you could do less of that poking. Do you accept bribes? You accept bribes? No. Bribes? What did I you accept have bribes. Hang on a minute. <laughs> It'd better be good. It'd better be good. Okay, so the reason why this puzzle doesn't make any sense to me is that, okay, the guard is taking a nap. Yeah. Yes. He only wakes up because the manager over there counting the money or looking at the gems yells so hard that he wakes up. Yeah. So, as a child, I thought to myself, hmm, the logical thing to do is to get rid of the shouty manager. Instead, you get rid of the sleeping guard. And when the manager starts shouting for everyone to hear, nobody comes to his aid. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? No, it sounds very poorly well, poorly guarded, this entire place. Poorly conceived? Then again, everybody's drunk, so... Oh hey! I guess. First time I've seen him with the beard and the Walkman on. <laughs> he, he, now he looks like a right hipster now, actually. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I did not realize this. Uh, you know, let's do this the right way. I guess. Would you like a beer, good sir? I'm on duty, but I suppose one mag can't. I like this. <laughs> I like this. He says, <laughs> "Beer." Oh, bring yeah. it down, will you? Yes, bring it down. The beer. This way. Oh yes. He's already drinking beer too. <laughs> okay, wow. now we can leave the guard to his drinking beer drinking competition. Yeah. Now they start to sing the beer uh, song from Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> and we can ignore the guy now. Yes, yelling is lungs off and nobody cares. Guard. Can he just stop you himself? Apparently not. He apparently stuck to that chair or table. Okay. Okay, first things first. Okay, so not only they're singing hi ho, hi ho, but the guy is using a very technological drill to drill the cave. We'll need this hook. He's going to use the drill to pierce through the heavens. <laughs> eventually. He will eventually. Uh, perhaps the right direction would be up. We'll need this hook later because I actually forgot this uh, on my second playthrough actually. We do not care about any of these dwarves, by the way. Mm -hmm. They are pretty pointless and just scenery. Oh. Oh, you could actually do it yourself, Simon. What did you open the door with? A key from the, uh, under the sleeping guard. Oh, right. Get out of here. This is uh, he you looks... can't be here! Uh... I ain't going to make enough for you can't refuse. Are you interested in double glazing? Interested in any double glazing? As in windows. Did you see the sign? No cells doors, it said. So get out of here before I throw you out. Ah, he kicks us out. Oh well, we got the key, so we can just go back in anyway. Hmm. You think that they would actually take this key off us? Nope. So, what do we need to distract him? Do we invite him to happy hour? <laughs> no, actually, we uh, we actually do something else, which I will be showing in a moment. A temperance calculation on your part. Yep, but I've come back. Let's say that, just because to sound cool. Unnecessarily cool, my bad. Ah, 
Okay, I know what we're supposed to do is trying to find the right dialogue tree, essentially. To uh, make him see our way, essentially. Well, to give us a chance to get to the inventory. So then we can give him something. Uh, uh, no. Right you are! Oh, uh, I... I believe the option is right you are. I told you to get out, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and that's the end of it. And that's the joke. Okay, let's, uh... Uh, shut you up! Yeah, he says that if he hears the high ho theme. Yes, right you are. Right you are. <laughs> oh! Yep. Okay, I was wrong. Yeah, let's do a temporary miscalculation on your part. I think that's that has to be the one, unless I... I mean... Well, it's the only one we haven't tried, is it? Yeah, I mean, there shouldn't be any dead ends in this game. Because no, there aren't. There aren't any dead ends, so thankfully that's like a godsend. A temporary miscalculation on your part. Why? Because I've come to make you a once-in-a-lifetime offer. There we are. Good. Uh, I was hoping you might know. Well, I can't tell you at the moment. I've got some in my inventory you might want. You may have already won a hundred million gold pieces. No, let's... Uh, let's I've got something in be my done with it. Yeah, let's want. be done with this. We're not here to mess around. Uh, okay. Give him the happy hour, Diplion. Yeah, that means where's the gift? Ah, here it is. Uh, here's the voucher from the barman. Happy hour, the drunken druid, and a free voucher. You know these dwarves are pretty straightforward. Once you know what they're all about, this is going to be easy. <laughs> nice pile of gems you got there. Can we have one? Just one though. Simon's not the type to, you know, be uh, all uh, greedy, modest. Oh, I would say. Because he's not like me, where I go like, I'll oh, think nothing of it. <laughs> Just doing a good deed for you. <laughs> I'm surprised he actually- This is taking too long. <laughs> I'm actually surprised he would give us his bandana with that gem, too. It makes me wonder how priceless that gem is. Never mind the gem, think of the cool bandana we get to wear from now on. Oh wait, no, it's not in our inventory. No, Not the bandana! Our Pirates of the Caribbean cosplay is ruined! <laughs> Beer, 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 tiddly beer, beer, beer. A long time ago, way back in history, when all there was to drink was nothing but drops of tea. Along came a man by the name of Charlie Moss, and he invented a wonderful drink and he made it out of hops. He must have been the man that held the salt in our king. Well, to his praises, we shall always sing. No green is done for us. And now we can go to one particular gentleman, I believe. <laughs> Hello, duck. I mean, um... Yeah, let's get straight to the point. We're just gonna give him the gem. Hey, mate. You interested in a priceless gem? Give it. I'll have a look at it. With this, he'll give us money for it, but he'll be haggling for it. I believe. Oh, like Stan. Mm, this is nice. Yeah. Very nice. But Dwarf less Ranger. troublesome. I will say. Yeah, that part in Monkey Island was a bit uh, tedious. It was very tedious. Don't make me laugh. I want at least 40. Don't make me laugh. Simon's a good haggler for this kind of thing. I won't get any higher than 10. I don't think we see eye to eye on this, pal. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Out with it. Fifteen pieces, but only because I like the look of you. Uh. You're supposed to haggle up, not haggle down. Twenty, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah, let's go with the twenty. I mean, as far as I know, there's only two items in the shop we need to buy. One of we will get more treasure once we get to a certain point. Yes. We will see about this. But first things first. Uh, wait, how do you do that? He had the one ring, which is apparently not the one ring, because we also have the one ring. <laughs> okay. okay, so let's buy what needs to be bought. Yes, which will be used much later. 
Uh, but first things first, let's have a look around and see what there is. Cosmetics, useless. Cake. I would love that cake right now in my tummy. A clock. Uh, sorry you have to listen to the two bicker, by the way, folks. Yeah, well... Um, books are pretty useless. Yeah, books are useless, kids! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't read! Oh yeah, that we'll need, we'll need that. For definite. And I already see another thing I want, too. The hammer! We'll need that, too. It's hammer time! So, those are the two things we'll need desperately from the shop. I would like to buy this. That will be two gold pieces. Uh, here you are. Okay, here you are. There's no chance haggling the shopkeeper, by the way, folks. It comes Believe me, nails. young Devar tried. I just like to browse. Okay. So, I like the fact that if this were to be an RPG, we would yeah. have gotten gold by killing monsters and getting experience points in the process. Yeah. Instead, we find a very convoluted way to uh, just aggle a random merchant from 20 pieces of gold <laughs> about uh, a couple of hours in. We we're almost close to the two hour mark. We actually made exceptionally good progress in this game already. Yep. Okay, like let's ask for the white spirit. That will be very useful for one particular character okay. we have not met yet in this game. Yeah, sorry about this folks, I'm talking like this because usually I like to uh, uh, set an air of uh, basically pretend I've not played the game before just to go with you and the audience but I think under the circumstances with me and Madhog in the same room together I think we can uh, talk like this essentially you know drop the facade yeah it's broken well uh, but why bother? He's surprisingly honest well yeah I gotta give it that wait if it's broken why do you have it there on, on the showcase I know, right? Give so, should we get inside the box now or later? Yeah, let's do this right now. Because, you know, it might as well be done now because we have the one ring. The one ring Dark to get around. Man. Lucky I'm only small. Because, I wonder when because, we'll get there. oh boy, guess where we are now. Castle Grayskull. Either I okay. can still see myself or the ring needs recharging. Yeah, I think this is funny as well because when it comes to this box, uh, let me see. Ah, here we are. Uh, let's remove this box from our person. Oh no, it doesn't work like that. Uh, how do I get this box off me? Consume the box. Okay. I can't do anything while Okay, maybe you need uh, an instrument. Actually, no. I'm pretty sure that I'm. I know that we need something. Move. I can't do anything while Okay, let's move it. There we go. I thought remove would have made more sense considering my memory. Because well, never mind. Well, yeah, never or mind. Or open because you were, you know, inside of it. Yeah, which is weird because apparently Simon just lifted the box up and the box, like, opened underneath. Maybe it's underneath. one of those uh, uh, prestidigitators boxes, you yes. know, that have an opening in the yeah. uh, lower part of it. Yeah, and it was a magical box. Uh, even though it makes no sense because this was... <laughs> Picked up from the shop. Okay, there's something in very important in this pile of boxes. Uh, oh, here it is. Ah, yes, the spell book. With the evil uh, five pointed star on it. Ah, oh, we got a piece of paper out of it, too. Okay, so let's take a look at this lock. Uh, there is something special about this lock. Did I just look at the door by accident? Yes. Okay. So we got this. Oh, I forgot! The I, rat bone! I almost forgot the rat bone, to be honest. The rat bone is important. Okay, so we do this. It's a classic, by the way, folks. I always try this in every puzzle adventure game. Because why wouldn't you? We all watch cartoons. We all watch cartoons, we all see the movies, we, we see this trick done literally everywhere. A slightly less known trick would be to use a credit card in order to unlock the door. Oh yes, I remember that one. Like slitting it on the side of the door, also, vertically. Also glad Simon doesn't need to, uh, you know, wear the ring by the player and not, instead of, you know, the game doesn't Yes, I know what you. you mean. You tried. You yeah. tried. Pat pat on the head. Yes. <laughs> Sadly, that's the story of my life. I try. 
Don't we all? Okay, let's. Oh! Yeah! Bucket. Yeah! Yep, 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 yep. I'm, I'm just gonna grab this bucket because he's a dumbass. Wait, did the book. Wasn't there a book a moment ago? Oh, oh okay. gosh. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, okay, we're leaving the screen. Instantly leaving the screen. Mm, that was the most delicious booger I've ever eaten. Okay, so we have a fair few things in here that. Oh, look, it's a poor, tortured soul. Yeah, we'll be talking to him in a moment. Iron Maiden! <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Let's pick up this hack. Well, not, not that. Uh... Oh, breath mints. It's a packet of super extra strong mints. Oh, yes. This will be important for dealing with a certain snowman later on. Spoilers. Yes, a snowman that Mad Hog was stuck with, apparently. Yep. A flaming it's brand. Like it's fireproofed. Sharp things. A collection of hot Can we pick spikes. up any of these sharp things, Simon? My mummy said never to touch sharp things. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to try, I guess. So let's go touch that sharp thing over there. The druid. No, I mean the Iron Maiden. <laughs> oh no, we will be using that much later. Folks. Yeah. <laughs> we will not spoil it, folks. But are here we go. Druid from the village. Who are thou that has voice I'm surprised we know that this guy's a druid. I'm wearing a ring of invincibility. I'm wearing an invincibility coat. <laughs> invincibility. Do not joke with me, Hellspawn. You just need the to remove it. it. Yeah, th but you have to talk to him still because otherwise Simon will not have a reason to remove the ring. Mm -hmm. Uh. If you're. Oh heck, ambled. <laughs> Where's your sickle? That's okay. Let's say that. Oh heck, rumbled. Oh, Rumble. demon has given himself away. Now, be gone. Let's be reasonable for a moment. Let's be reasonable for a moment. I shall listen to no more lies from you. Leave now, or suffer the consequences. Yeah, the consequences of my annoying presence <laughs> and my ability to speak. <laughs> okay. I don't think you're in a I position to make a threats, good sir. In any position to make threats. Your emotional torture cannot hurt me. <laughs> Thou cannot I'm hurt me. Okay. Goodbye. Vile demon. Okay. So you have okay. a magical wand. You have mints. You have the ring of invincibility. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. We're, well, first thing, we're gonna move the ring. So then, the druid will then talk to us. The properly. one time the verb remove is useful. Yes. Which is weird. My eyes deceiveth me, or tis a Which is probably why some of which is probably why the uh, commands were changed entirely. In Simon two. In Simon two. That's the, good. The screen was less cluttered. Uh, the Prince of Darkness. The first one. Yeah, let's do this. Me. You know, the Prince of Darkness. Ah, thou shalt not <laughs> and he believes it. In thy disguise. Okay. How can I prove that I'm not innocent? Or you can just uh, lash out at him. Uh, I am not a demon. Okay. I am not a you old demon. coot. Got that? There is a simple test. What is this? Simple, simple test. test. It is a well -known Nothing simple in these games, you know that, right? Well, this one is actually simple. Extremely simple, actually. I just... Surprisingly simple. If the creature dies, then it's a demon. If it lives, then its heart is pure, and so we sacrifice it. <laughs> Freaking druids, I swear. <laughs> Always into human sacrifices and magic potions to give super strength to gulls and whatnot. Oh, locks. I forgot my silver dagger at home. <laughs> oh, locks. I've left me silver dagger at home. That's a very unusual Never phrase, locks. I've got one right here. Uh, on second thoughts. Are you afraid, Hellspawn? <laughs> Stop giving me attitude, old man. <laughs> yeah, let's say that. Druid wanted to stick a silver dagger through your heart. 
Okay, let's use the less reliable but more convenient trial. The, the less reliable but more convenient this trial. <laughs> uh, this guy. Okay, let's just do it. Okay, why is more convenient? Let's do it. Uh, this isn't gonna hurt. Is it? Okay, let's do it. Okay. I was just looking for the list. Very well. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye, cruel. World. Ouch! He has something on him. So you are a servant of evil. Did you enjoy the feel of the burning hot fire of good? What? That Bloody cold, man. Cold. Gave me quite a shock. Oh, well, I suppose Wait, I we are in a sweaty old torture cheese. chamber. So, how is this place cold? Then, then. Well, the fire is well. kind of far away from it. Still. <laughs> uh, uh, so now he wants to be saved. Well, yeah, just uh, because. Are you any good with a sword? No. Nope. Can you cast powerful spells? Uh, no. Looks like I don't stacking. think we have that. Unless, of course, you can use not a dicky bird. Druidic power to oh yes, you it's get druidic powers effect. from this guy. Yeah, druidic we say druidic powers. Well, it sounds cooler than just saying, "Hey, you can turn into a mouse." Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he wants to be a wizard, and now he gets to become a druid. What next? Oh, so yeah, Barbarian class. Okay, that's bard, <laughs> rogue. Sure. So you're a bunch but of you see, man, if you decide to uh, add another class to your repertoire, you're going to have penalties. Yeah, big penalties, which is not good. No, no, no. But. Frog. I can't help it. It was chosen for me by the head of the order. Well, I'm sure that'll be of some use. Right then. Did he say what he could change into, by the way? Yeah, a frog. A frog. A frog. A frog. A frog. Okay. Hey, so... don't shoot these frogs. I'll have you know, one particular Can frog girl is head. the cutest Why? thing ever. Yes, I know about this frog plan. girl actually. Yes. Okay. We actually are going to get this old man out with a bucket on his head. Oh yes, he needs the full moon, so we need to trick him into believing he's looking at the full moon. This is a pretty clever trick. It is a very interesting way to also solve Also a bit thing. hard to figure out, admittedly. I better hide until I'm surprised you get through help. the bars, to I'll be honest. Okay, get the ring back on, Simon. I must have uh oh. The out. Oh, out. the batteries. There's batteries on this thing. Apparently. Okay, we need to hide. Where uh, to, though? Uh, oh, I know! Uh, 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 I know okay, the only place to hide, and it's this big. Ow. You know, we never did find out what's upstairs. No, and you never do, actually. That's sad. Because the guard... Uh, okay, this is the guy with the inexplicable voice change. I can't see no one. Yep. No, no one in here. In behind you. What? Yeah! <laughs> I'll kill you. So they are a bunch of uh, mercenary goblins, goblin guards. Who are they serving? Are they serving sordid? You think so, but to be honest, I always considered them separate from one another. I am used to the idea that in fantasy worlds the goblins, orcs, or other such monsters would always serve a master. Yeah. Maybe a powerful wizard. Yeah. But so far that's not the case in this game. Well, okay then. Let's go. Let's get out of this thing now. Well, look, we're fine. I need a drink. Even after days. Complete Agu Punch. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. That's a classic. And I'm surprised you had a glass of water on you. Okay, he has something in his mouth here. It's a hacksaw. Hack well, it's nice to know you dropped the. Oh! <laughs> nice to know you dropped the puzzle solution on us. It can be Hacks of Simon Duggan, I guess. Now you can be the hack like all the other puzzle game protagonists of yesteryear. Hashtag life hack. <laughs> right then. Escape prison with a hacksaw. Life hack. All right, we did it and we're done with this, uh, yeah, this particular this, scenario. This place is pointless to go to now. 
So now we go to back to the village yes, once more. Yes, we go to the potion shop, which is the druid's place. Well, of course it is. It's very annoying. Do you really have to be that guy <laughs> while you're at it? <laughs> okay, let's get in here. We have. Ah, oh, thank goodness you're cloned, good sir. Yep. You're number one for love potions, cure alls, and tri Oh, it's you. The spawn of the devil. I like. I, I like this. He goes like, Ah, if you, if you have entered the shops Okay, so and I potions. just saved your life. What's with the attitude, old man? I know. Like, he's like, goes like, Oh, it's you. Uh. I'm on a real important quest. Can you help? Real important quest that I kind of left on the back burner. Come to think of it, yes. I mean, I could have put more importance on this whole sorted matter, but the game kind of does it itself. It feels like it anyway when you play this game. Now that you mention it. Yeah, now that you mention it, it would be nice to have. I do have an exceedingly good potion I'm prepared to give you. However, it's a collector's item, and you must only use it as a last resort. I see. Okay, so ooh, what's so special what's about so it then? Special about it. it came from another dimension. One of my colleagues. It came it from another him. dimension, huh? Huh. Now, is it a soda can? <laughs> is it tea parties and the is it a uh, sprite or seven up? <laughs> I was not going to give any distinct names, but okay. We are not sponsored by Sprite or 7up. No, we're not sponsored by either of those lemon and lime drinks. But we are sponsored by Swamp Stew! The most delicious swamp you will ever have in your mouth! And chuck out of your mouth at the same time! By Swamp Stew! It's good for your sad and suicidal friend who really wants you to eat it. You don't want to disappoint him, do you? <laughs> Aha! The anticipated fine print. Anticipated you know, do something for somebody else to get something in return. Fine potion, then you'll have to get me something. I need a special herb. Oh yes, we all know where to find the special herb. Yep, we. I definitely do as well. And Skull Island is not that uh, far as one would think. You could say it's a. Uh, it's really not so much as an island as it is a piece of rock. Yeah, we'll see to that in a moment. Yep, he's a frog now. Forever a frog. <laughs> he really doesn't want to deal with us. What an ungrateful old fool. Okay, we have to travel to a few screens. Again, you'd think the swampling would be. The swampling's house would be an important thing on the map. Nope. Even back when I was a kid, I thought, hey, this place is very important, so it should be on the map. Yeah, I remember. It's kind of weird that the, that the only problem with this game I can think of is a lack of characterization with the, with the overall main, you know, quest, so to speak, of the game. I mean... I mean, we had, like, importance placed on villains be in this whole thing. Not so much on the one we're supposed to save from the villain, though. Yeah. So, let me... Okay. I mean, for all you know, all Sordid is doing is just minding his own business. Okay, this one nail should help us cross this uh, little wooden plank. Yep. Seriously, Yay. I, thought, I, I thought you would need two nails for that. Mm. It realistically. It sure is lucky that they gave us nails along with the hammer. They gave us a free nail. One free nail. One rather. free nail. Talk about, you know, good business practice. Indeed. So that's Skull Island. Are you impressed? It is a giant human skull. It's skull Island. It must be uh, a... It is a pretty looking giant human skull. Maybe a giant died here. It's it's most likely. Well, we see a giant later on, so maybe it let's, was his cousin? Let's take this. Cousin Ted? You know, while we're in... Cousin Dead Ted? <laughs> you know, while we're in the area, since we're close by, 
Why don't we actually visit the next area after the swamp? Sure. Es essentially. So we can save it on the map. Yeah, so then we don't have to, you know, take the long route back to this area. That's a good idea. That's a practical idea, my bad. Actually, then again, I don't think we ever come back to this swamp ever no, again. No, I think we're done with this area. Completely. Completely. And now you see an icy cave ahead. Dang. Dang. Of course, after the swamp level, you have the snow level. What the hell happened here? <laughs> <laughs> Next, you have the what the hell happened here. <laughs> That's a nice segue by accident. So, did this guy die frozen in the snow? No, he's a statue. Oh, speaking of statues. You know, anytime I was theorizing about this game, about what Calypso would Wait, look like... hold on, I really love the music here. Oh yes, I love the music as well in this area. It gives you a feeling of a daunting anticipation, but also it is somehow calming, like the snow itself. Yeah. So yes, one thing that I really like about this game is how they build up the reveal of Sordid. Yeah. And as you get closer and closer to his realm, you really start pondering what it looks like, how he operates, and what his world essentially looks like. Yeah. And once you get to his keep, uh, the curiosity gets fired up a bit. Yes, it does. Even Simon is hearing uh, this music. Anyway, uh, I always assumed, whenever I came to this area, I assumed this was Calypso for some reason. I don't know why, because it's the only old man statue in the area. I have to wonder what all of these statues represent, because they are clearly put there for a reason. I think it's just accidental, because the fact, apparently these were all people that sort of turned to stone. Oh yes, that's good storytelling. Yeah. Good visual storytelling. Okay, let's use the metal detector here. Yes, for, you for, could technically for... use the metal detector in any area of the game, but... Uh, there is only one area in which it is useful. Yes, the only area where Mithril exists, essentially. Which is this random snow plain, strangely enough. Sadly, we can't do anything about this. And yes, that is a really strong metal detector. So we're going to just leave the metal detector on that, hoping nobody steals it. Yeah, I mean, there's... Hey, look! It's your giant friend, your kind... Uh, He's in a giant man, what was the name of that book? Uh, Gulliver's Travels? No, uh, you know, the, the story of the kind giant. Oh, the BFG. The BFG, yes! <laughs> it's your best friend's giant! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to actually solve this puzzle already, because... We need to annoy this giant in order to create a path. I'm saddened we don't get to talk with this giant and know more about his backstory. Yeah. Because he seems like an interesting character. He's just camping there in the middle of the snow plain for no seeming reason. Other than sleeping there. Well, okay then. Well, we're going on ahead anyway. And, ah, we have a miniature statue over here. Maybe she was a hobbit barbarian? It's a statue of a pygmy warrior woman. Pygmy? Well, close enough. It's too big for me. No, It's not that big, you have bigger objects in your inventory as we speak. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Speaking of copyright infringement... Let's take a look at this sign. It says, warning, spontaneously combustible substance. <laughs> okay. I wonder what's inside that cave. I wonder this as well. Let's go in and check, shall we? Oh. Okay then. Hello there. It's a real dragon. It's a real life dragon. In a dragon's cave. 
Oh no! Isn't happening. I wouldn't hang about if I were you. I've He's sick. He has a cold. Well, that's what happens when you're a fire dragon in a snowy plain. That's really not your natural environment, is it? Uh, oh, run! <laughs> Uh, too bad for Simon, he couldn't um, run. They could not animate that, apparently. No, they couldn't. This is where kind of the cheapness comes into play with this game at times. And we could just click any time to make him do this. Lucky I was wearing and my asbestos under. I know how to fix him. Yes, we need to go back to the druid. Actually, no, because we already have the cold oh, remedy. Oh, we already have the cold remedy, never mind. We stole it from the druid when he was out. <laughs> Prisoner of the goblins. Okay, let's use it on the dragon. And you need to go outside in order to use it, because it's like a Molotov cocktail, apparently. Uh, Here, take it! Take it! Down your throat! And suddenly he's... And he's asleep. So, sure, why not? Now... You can take this fire You'd extinguisher. You'd think you would use the fire extinguisher against the dragon since it was clearly put there for a reason. First of all, who the hell put a fire extinguisher inside a dragon's cave? Whoever was coming to visit, I guess? Sure. Okay, right, so we see. cannot get to the gold because the dragon is on the way. Yeah, so we have to do something else entirely to uh, get it. And luckily for me, I know how. We're going to MacGyver something up, folks. Uh, yep. I just need to well, luckily for me as well, I played Sam and Max Hit the Road, so I know many uses that a magnet could have. Okay, we're also going to use this hook on this boulder over here. To actually get up there. And anytime, dun, Simon. Dun, dun. Yeah, anytime, Simon. Uh, there you go. That was not very impressive. No, it wasn't. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Hoist yourself up there, my friend. All right. Okay, so now we have this hole here. We'll, we'll look at the hole. I can see there's a the hole. There's a hole there. in the dragon's cave. Maybe the dragon could block it with something, so then he doesn't have to feel the snow when that happens. Let's see, where is it? That there? would be an idea. Okay, so. It would also stop things like this from happening, too. Yep. Also, because gold, you know, can be collected with a magnet, apparently. It's not that kind of metal. Yeah. It really isn't. So, please tell me why, Gabe, you would assume that we can do that. Can we get more? Oh, we can get more, apparently. I actually do not know the use for the gold coins at this point. Um, we'll see. Yeah, maybe I'm forgetting that... I know at some point Simon will stop... Will stop gathering coins, essentially. I keep on missing the hole. Sorry, folks. <laughs> we are just uh, wasting time. Yeah, wasting time while getting gold. Gold! Gold! I wonder if he'll do it again, or is three times the most he can do? Because I know he'll give up at some point. You know, basically saying, Oh, uh, too much gold on me, fags. But, uh... Maybe I can just leave it now, essentially. Oh, wait. No gold anymore. That wasn't much of a hoard. Ah, there we go. Wait, you mean to tell me we collected the entire monetary hoard of the dragon? No. I mean, we go back in there, I know there's still gold to be stolen. Okay, let me go back in there to show you that there is gold still in here. It's just Simon's... He's been pessimistic about the whole gold front. Apparently. So, let's... All right, so we can actually go a bit further, but... Uh... Let's go just a tiny bit further this direction, because there is one thing I would like to grab. Like this lovely stone face. That always intrigues me, this face here. I really wish to know more about this world, but there isn't much information to be gathered to begin with. What did you get? It's a rock. It's another rock. It has a fossil in it. There's a fossil in it, apparently. It's a fossil rock. 
<laughs> it's okay. a giant rock. <laughs> it's a giant rock. <laughs> it's a giant rock. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. Look at the rock. Uh, I've already looked at the rock. If you mean this one, it has a fossil in the middle of it. Okay. Okay. So let's just move on. Let's see if there's anything else that we need from this direction. So then, uh, to see if uh, we need to take anything back to the village with us. Ah, we can't go that uh, way. Ah, yes. You're going to need uh, an additional peg for this monkey island to puzzle. Yeah. Oh, gosh, that face. I actually forgot about this oh, face. Oh, boy. There is some nightmare fuel imagery in this game, to be honest. Yeah. This is definitely uh, Narnia if it was... Uh... And this tree. Yes. The music changed, by the way. <laughs> yes, it does. It's a splodge of pink spray paint. That tree is so good looking. I mean, well crafted. Yes, it is. It has an ugly face, but it is well designed. Yeah, it's a well designed tree face thing. How come a tree has speech apparatus? This is what you want to ask a talking tree? <laughs> What sort of what magic? Sort of magic? <laughs> the usual sort, you know? There's loads of it around here. That's why So are you so a talking tree or an ant? <laughs> and made it into perpetual winter. Uh now, Are you a I weeping willow? Word or two he must be because he's weeping on. about the fact that he'll be Can't cut down at some point. Do but though. I don't think he's explained that yet. I imagine Pocahontas now coming into place and asking him for <laughs> <laughs> advice in her love life. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also saving her village, but whatever. Yeah, that's not as important. Everyone's good at something. Just like Sword is not as important right now. <laughs> you know? Yes. Considering neither him nor uh, Calypso really play into anything at all up until this point. Yeah. Uh, don't scratch there. Yeah. Okay. Uh. You'd make a lovely support beam. That is terrible, Simon. Oh, Just like this terrible. line. If you can remove the paint, then I'll tell you some magic words. Why would a talking tree know about magic words? I mean, okay, sure. Okay. Sure, you you. You, can probably you do that, Davar. Yes, I shrugged. I don't know why I shrugged, despite knowing that no one will see I'm me it. doing it, other than you. <laughs> it's instinctual, I believe. Right, so let's go back to the druid. First, white spirit this up. Pink splodge! Yeah, it's a uh, thing that basically hunted, well, the woodcutter used to basically signify, I'm gonna cut this tree, yeah! I mean, pink splodge. Yeah. That's the name of your cleaning product. No, white spirit is what it's called. Oh, white but spirit. Okay, it's just I thought the, the, the opposite. Nah, the pink. I thought the bottle was named pink sludge for a second there. Nah. Okay, let's talk to him again because now we've done what we need to do. Your problems are solved. I'm very grateful. So He's very grateful, you see. Yeah. Okay. You can tell by his happy I face and his voice, so of course. Careful. What are they? Alakazam, Hocus Pocus, Alakazam, Abracadabra, Hocus Pocus, Abracadabra, are you joking? Sausages. Sausages? Very powerful magic. Sausages? I really do think I've been taken for a ride. Simon, he's I, been taken for a ride, the bar. That would be true Does if it didn't play into something right? much later. Yeah, it actually surprisingly works out. So, so, so now we have a spell book and we have some ridiculous magic words. But I think we need to be a wizard first. Before. Yes, we also need to be a wizard. Yeah, we have to be recognized as all a wizard. All of this, we need to accomplish all of this in order to challenge the wicked wist of the witch. Yeah, the, the wicked wist. The, <laughs> the wicked witch of the west. Yes. Damn it. That is much better than what you called her. The wicked waste of the wedge. <laughs> okay, I think we now we can go back to the village to work. Uh, right, we have stuff to do. We have one major thing to sort out, which is to give uh, the, the ducks their bread, I guess. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Damn it. 
Dan Ducks, I will eat you roasted I will for roast, dinner. I will roast you, Ducks. You shall not be extras in the new DuckTales reboot. <laughs> Which is bloody fantastic. It's really bloody awesome. Uh, please don't chomp at me like that. Yeah, and please, Simon, don't have a clone of yourself suddenly appear. <laughs> it's the frog, you see. <laughs> The game sadly has two moments like that so far, where basically Simon seems to have a dual image of himself. Oh yes, we'll know when we can drink this fig. Yes, we will definitely know when we can drink this mysterious potion with vaguely defined abilities. Because, seriously, you would not think about this potion any point in the game based on the, uh, vagueness of the entire thing. Oh yes, let's go to <clears throat> the, blacksmith. the blacksmith, yes. We're going to need a spade to dig for Mithril, to give it to the lumberjack, so we can get wood to give to the earthworms, so you can use the earthworms with the floorboards in the castle of the pig, and then we can somehow become wizards afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> All this might sound like it might take a long while to get to that point, folks, but... You know, there are episodes in cartoons that make fun of this convoluted I give you something, and I get something in return, and I'm going to give this something to someone else, and it never ends, it becomes a chain. Oh, good, he's really nearby. That's good. Uh... Okay, let's get the fossil to... Uh, s uh, Francois? Franschensteins, or what we call him. Catch. I don't believe it! This is an extremely lucky find indeed. It's an amoeba from the Cambrian period. An amoeba. This could be it. Will I be as famous it's whoever reviewed this? Akira. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> just tell me where you found this specimen, my boy. Uh, it's in the craggy peat. I left my metal detector there. Okay, that's clever. That is clever that you can Excellent. fool this guy into digging for mithril for, for you. you. Let me just get my things Not like together. Guybrush Freepwood who just does it himself. <laughs> Yeah, and I look. think Simon is a bit more lazy. Then again, he's trekking all around this world, doing all of this for a undetermined goal. There yep. he is. Pretty uh, much. We're going to ignore his existence here, and just look at the dirt. Not even the right soil. A pile of dirt excavated by Doctor Von Jones. There's also some millrith ore here. I hear that kid. Pick up that. Ah, oh, no, not the dirt. Do? Pick up oh, the. Uh, where is it? Ah, here it is. Oh, wait, it's Milrith, not oh, Mithril. Oh, yeah, Milrith. We thought it was Mithril for the vast majority of this. And I swear to you, it was translated as Mithril in Italy. Huh, that's interesting. So, yes, this is a bit confusing. Okay, back to the blacksmith we go. Right, let's make an axe out of Mithril. Yeah, a Milrith, as it's called in the English. Oh, I mean Milrith. Uh, Damn it! I'll, uh, and now I'll be calling it Mithril f and I only, from now until the end of and time. And I only thought it was Mithril because I haven't played the game in a long time, and it sounds very vaguely similar. Okay, please help us, Blacksmith. Do anything you want. I can do anything you want. I can speak with my mind without moving my lips. I am a ventriloquist act. I am a telepath. Sure. I am a very special. I have the force. I am a scanner. I have TV static eyes. <laughs> but the one thing I can never be is a hot, sexy cat, cat lady. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not, now if you say cat lady, it, it seems like you're talking about uh, ladies who have cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Here you go, my friend. Chop to your heart content. Chop, chop. Here you go. Now seriously, go today. away. I'm chop, chop, old deem. Watch out, trees. Because there is Watch no out trees, here I come. Oh yeah. The the woodcutter struts his way to victory. <laughs> I like to think that he has a smoke face as he goes up to the place he needs to be. And I already so see now what we need. Now let's steal his finely crafted wood. And his climbing peg, of course. Now I know there is a secret passage in the fireplace. Yes. And I remember how we get through there. Yep. You couldn't just pour water on it. Yeah, because we already wasted that on the seeds. You, it's not like we can use the bucket again with the well. Yeah. 
And then of course he takes it again the uh, now we just need to move this hook It took me a while to figure out this was movable essentially And of course he has a secret vault of all the wood in existence Why wouldn't he? Okay, mahogany should be on this shelf somewhere Rosewood. I remember this box. Cherry wood. Was, was it the ah there mahogany. it is? Mahogany. I knew there it. I knew it was the bottom it's shelf. A of valuable wood. I like mahogany. Apparently, Simon is allergic to most of these wood kinds. Uh huh. So it is even pointless for you to actually have a selection of woods to take. Yeah. Uh, seriously, let me see if uh, if he says it. Uh, what if I try and pick one up? I'm allergic to Boeotian cherry wood. Uh. I'm allergic to rosewood. Does he say? Well, okay then. I believe you on the word. Let's move on. Yeah. We've been at it for several hours by this point. Yeah. I've actually been tempted to say we call it a day on this one, and we. Well, we could definitely take a break. Yeah, we could take a break for the day, really. But you know, we. Oh come on, Simon! You yes. cheeky bastard! <laughs> Get out of the house already! But you know what? We go got... out in the world. Go find a job, a respectable <laughs> job. You should be a woodcutter. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, let, let me, I need to remember where I want to go next. Oh yeah, so, the yeah, uh, the mahogany. So you need to actually go outside, just outside the village. Really. Yes, just outside the village. But I think this way is faster. You know, from the trolls bridge essentially. Okay, so now we give the mahogany to the woodworm. This will not be the last we'll see of them. Nope. That's just plain silly. Oh. Uh, uh, can, um, I guess I have to talk to them, I guess? You got that mahogany yet, then? As a matter of fact, I have. That's counterintuitive. There we go. Also, you have a peg for that uh, escalation later. Yeah, to the point of return. No, no to the point of no return from a gameplay standpoint. From a gameplay standpoint, but a place of returning, know. you know, when you got stuck on it. Well, the reason I was stuck on it is because I did not have the mints. Oh. There it is. And I did not clear the dungeon of the goblins. Oh, I see. And I did not find my way down the ravine to find the golem cosplay. Okay, so now we've done that. Hmm. We'll have to get a, find a good stopping point, essentially. Yes, I'd say we do everything we need to do on this plane, including defeating the witch, because after that, it is all extremely linear, we just have the final portion of the game. Yeah. Ah, good, I found the place we need to be. Good, we don't have to cut anything. Two hours later, Yeah. Like, long <laughs> trekking. Where is the castle? Oh, here it is, it, it was just here. It's lucky for both of us that we played and loved this game since we were, when we were kids. Because yes, it's like... but it's really hard to get lost in this game. I mean, it's not as big as it seemed like as children. Imagine if we were playing GTA at that tender age. Oh gosh. We would have blown our minds away. Yeah. Woodroof and the Schnibble of Azimuth blew my mind away. It was such a large game with a large selection of locations to visit. Yeah, too bad I don't have that game right just yet. And oh dear. <laughs> oh again! I learned the, I learned the second time. Right. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna open up this door. Oh. Well, you had to uh, remove the wedge, obviously. Ah, yeah. There was- I forgot there was a wedge I, here. I mean, the only reason this door is locked is because of a wedge in the door. Imagine that. I mean, it's not like there was a key or a lock on the other side. Nope. Okay, there's the only one use of this ladder, but it looks really fun when you see the animation for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which makes me... It just throws the ladder like if it is water out of a pot. Yeah, which makes me wonder if the hat is basically uh, uh, reacts to his thoughts of what he would like to come it's, out of his hat. It's Wander's hat from Wander Over Yonder. <laughs> okay, let's go down to this place. Well, the music implies that this is a nice, perfectly innocent and normal little place with no twists or horrors beyond belief to yeah. face. 
Yes, it does make it seem like that. Now I'm gonna- Oh look, it's a tomb! I, mm. I will explain something about this part. I actually got genuinely stuck on this part of the game. Really? Yeah, because I thought I had to use an item on the guy. You know, if you've seen cartoons- Yeah, I know, and I didn't think cartoon logic at first. When in doubt, cartoon logic always seems to work. I was wondering if you like- Oh, he just shouted. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. I don't know what happened to Simon when uh, the mummy took that one step, but okay, let's do Maybe he just uh, very awkwardly tried to I hug him, like real <laughs> and he was weirded out. Now that I think about it, the weirdest thing in this, we don't have a push and pull command in this. Alright. Okay, we take the loose bandage. See? He yeah. says it himself. Ah! <laughs> No, you killed me! Oh, what a world! What a world! No, I'm withering! I can live without okay, now this is the staff like that the good old bumpkin wizard wanted, essentially. Indeed, and now we can become a wizard, Harry! <laughs> it's a long stick with a knob on the end of it. It's yes. A staff. It's a powerful looking wizard staff. It's probably useless. Yes. As postmodern deconstruction of a medieval fantasy stories would have you, the most powerful looking items typically are just useless doorknobs <laughs> or wedges or yeah. used as paperweights. Or oh, in the case of Indiana Jones on his quest for the Holy Grail, it was the least uh, fancy looking cup in the world. No, that's supposed to be a lesson, a moral lesson, because Jesus was humble. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It it's also makes sense for the time and all that jazz. Okay, let's just give him the staff, because uh, we have no use for the staff, sadly. Yes, we're at the Cockney Wizard Association. We welcome you to the club of Cockney Wizardry, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, what we get from this Cockney Wizard food? Let's have a cool name for us. Paul Daniels. Paul Gandalf. Gandalf. Oh my god, it's an option. Merlin. Simon. Let's go with Paul Daniels, the wizard. It sure will inspire terror in the hearts of our enemies. It will. Paul Behold, Paul Daniels, the wizard. I love that they actually knew that wasn't our real name. Subscription fee. Subscription fee. And Ooh. that's where the dragon gold is for. Okay. Uh... Okay, pa a piffly 30 gold pieces. 30 gold pieces. Where is it then? That's good then. I actually generally forgot about that. Did we actually give that gold? Yeah. Yeah. 30 gold pieces in unmarked coins. Can I be a wizard? Unmarked coins. This wizard association seems a bit shady, doesn't it? Yes, extremely. It's like they're trying to get you subscribed to the WWE network. <laughs> For only $9.99 a month. I would actually like to see wizards wrestling, actually. <laughs> Imagine telekinesis. Uh, you don't have to imagine it, you just need to go and watch how WCW looked like in the early 90s. No, I mean like an actual animated wizard battle with spells and oh. all that. Oh, well, I think Adventure Time had one of those. Oh, okay. Uh, like a starter pack? A starter pack. Yeah, the most useless item in the game. Next to the placard. It's completely ineffectual and it does not lead to anything. And the fun fact is that I tried to use it with everything else. I know, even I did too. But it's completely useless. A membership card? A membership card? Uh, Wizard magazine? <laughs> Yes, I'll take this. Take all this fancy stuff like. Happy now. Happy now. Yeah, we're wizards now. Okay, I think we're done here. Okay. Who is sorted then? Maybe you tell us now. Yeah. 
So he was part of the club of putting things on top of other things. <laughs> What rules what did he rules break did then of putting things on top of other things? He refused to put things on top of other things. I remember the outcry when he managed to break rule 137. What's rule 137? Best you don't know. We never found out where he got the chicken, you know. Oh, now I really don't want to know what rule 137 is. I'd rather not know either. Okay, we're done here. Let's leave. No further questions, my lord. Let's leave. Let's go fight a witch then. Whiskid Wallet. Whiskid Wallet! Wow. That's bad. Okay, so we're going to go to the witch's cottage now. I don't know why I'm going to save now, just in case. Yeah, knock on this door too, Simon. Not like you invaded Nobody other people's home. homes without knocking either. Well, he did knock on the swamp lad home. That's what I mean. I'm going to save everyone's time here. The broom is literally the only thing you ever gonna pick up in here. Oh, you could try and pick up the cat if you want. Yeah, but I don't think it that looks one. cute. Well, it doesn't look ominous. Hey there, I'm little fella. Oh, of course he's allergic to cats. Somehow, I don't think this Why, uh, Okay, so Baggy is not your favorite character then. Gotcha. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear lord. Hello. Okay. Uh, I'm here. I'm, I'm the wicked witch of the west. Hello. I'm here to kill you now! I'm well, gonna eat ya! It's not- well, at least it's not like that. Uh, the actual voice line. It might as well be! I'm a wizard. I steal from who I want! <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a magic train to catch. Yeah, too bad that will actually let us, you know, just leave, so... I just say this. We'll, 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 the witches are like, we, yeah. you know... We're yeah. against wizards and such. Oh yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Magic duel! And suddenly Randy Savage comes in with his Slim Jim. Oh yeah! Oh, Breaking yeah. down the door. Oh yeah! Let's do a freeway Slim Jim fight! Slim Jim, yeah! Okay. It's the cream of the crop! Okay. Uh, what let's are the just... stakes? What are the stakes? Okay, there's a... Oh. Sure those odds are fair. Chickening out, eh? Chickening out, eh? She says. I think not. Let's go. I'm not. Let's do 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 well. Put them up, old crone. We're going to do you. Yes, put them. Yes, put them fisticuffs up. I'm going to eat me magic spinach. Or in this case, uh, Simon's going to have his whiz kid uh, yeah, this is soda a drink. Yeah, reference to the sword in the stone, do do obviously. It's the most iconic moment of the film. It's an extremely obvious blatant reference. Which is also a very disjointed film, much like Buggy. It, Come to think of it. Yes, it kind of is at times. Uh, you know, speaking of that film, you know, I just discovered recently there was a whole trend on 4chan at some point of yeah. people just trying to imagine what would have happened to that squirrel girl. Yeah. If she did not stay a squirrel and became human and pursued uh, her love, Arthur, oh. as a woman, they would have fancy adventures together. That sounds nice. I've seen artworks of it and honestly I really kind of wish I would live in a world in which I get to see that happening. Yeah, that does sound very nice. That's actually a really good story and I want to see it's more interesting than the actual story of the sword in the stone to be honest. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's get on with this fight ourselves. Have your whiskid uh, soda ready for this, Simon? Okay, uh, rock, paper, scissors anybody? <laughs> Yeah, because we actually don't know which does what. Well, well aside from sausages. Yeah, sausages is very, uh... It's a last uh, resort. Okay, nothing. let's try Hocus Pocus. Yes, we, we won that one. Wow. This is the creepiest fursona I've ever seen. It's uh, just them with animal bodies. Alakazam. Ah! Okay, this is just based on luck, really. It's, you just need to know which does which, and then yes, after that luck. It's basically rock, paper, scissors. Oh, abracadabra. Oh, it's That's rock, paper, scissors, the uh, wizard duel. Sausages? Oh, two. That means, oh gosh, we need to pick the right one then for the next one. Okay. Uh, uh, hocus Pocus. Yes! Yes! Oh, that was the closest I've ever been in that fight. Does that mean I win? 
Hey, we've got our prize now. I'll just take my prize and clear off then. Yeah, you sort of win, but guess what? Sword in the Stone reference. About cheating, I lied! Eddie Guerrero comes in and says, I lied! I lie, I cheat, I steal. <laughs> well, actually, no, Simon does the stealing. She didn't say no dragons. Yeah. Okay, right. you so need abracadabra in this case, and just uh, get out the whole. I'm surprised the cat doesn't chase after you, though. Yeah, and there we go. And now, uh, if we can actually move, we can actually hear her inside the house saying that she's stuck. Well, good job, wicked witch of the west. Okay, so we you officially become the wicked west of the witch. Okay, so now we actually have everything. everything. We actually physically have all the items we could ever need to proceed in the game. And we are literally done with everything else in this available space. So all that's left to do is move on to the next phase of the game, which is also the last part. Yes. Sordid's Keep. Which is not as big as the forest for obvious reasons, but it's still a nice area to explore at least. It is a very linear area for obvious reasons. Yeah, so might as well put it into the hole, the climbing pig, here. Okay, time to meet the mighty and ferocious guardian of the Sordid's Path. Okay. Yeah. Hello there, Jack Frost. Hello there, lovely little snowman. Let's just walk past you. You're totally going to let us through. Thou shall not pass! I shall, I shall not be not stopped, be stopped by a and a carrot. Oh god. Thou shall not pass. Okay, I'm having uh, relapses of involving, uh, not relapses, uh, Vietnam flashbacks about hands appearing. Uh, uh, we'll see we'll about see that. About that. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. I am a cool sounding jazz player. Okay, so we're just gonna do this. So, okay, you try and figure this out as a child, honestly. Yeah, to me, I just tried any item right in front of him when I got stuck at this point. Well, and the snowman is done for wow. good. Yes. Hot stuff. And hot stuff, eh? <laughs> Let me introduce you to. Ooh. The Tower of Doom. Oh, come on, that's Sauron's tower. Come on, <laughs> it's a giant eye atop of it. It certainly is, isn't it? Something tells me they don't welcome visitors. Oh, you don't say. Let's just go to the front door. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Pretty sure Sordid would love visitors. Nothing at all. I must admit, I do like this area, though, with the statues here. Apparently, we are in hell now. It's the lava level, right after the snow level! Just oh no! There's a big gap that we can't How jump over! How we will ever get through that? It's not like we have a magic broom. Oh wait! Yeah, it's not like we could fly! Come on, tell you, old chap! <laughs> Everything is going fancy and... Ah! Well, okay then. <laughs> ah. And we're here now, at the front door too much throttle there. of Sordid's Tower of Sordid Doom. Indeed. And of course the door can't be opened shut. by normal means. Hmm. But, I'd be tempted to put a cliffhanger on this one. We do have the means to open the door, I believe. We do have the means to get through the door, you mean? Yeah, but... Actually, let me check the map. Does it... Oh yeah, I never saw this before, to be honest. The outside of the tower. Once on the we map. get inside of it, we can never get out up until we end the game. Yes. We're just a few more hours rooms away from the end of the game. Yes. It might take us a bit to get to the end, but it's not far actually. And I must admit, it's actually a lot of fun to actually have you physically here to enjoy this game together. Yeah, it, me too. Uh, my love. <laughs> please don't treat me like Baggy. <laughs> oh, is this your weak spot? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I might take all that back, you know, if you keep going. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, jeez. Uh, so, 
So See you later, folks. And take good care of yourselves, okay? Last time on Simon the Sorcerer. <laughs> All this happened, and we're here now. <laughs> I'm sorry, we couldn't afford a budget for a proper recap. Yeah. So no recap montage. Or recap episodes for that matter. <laughs> no. Actually, that's a good thing. Yes, because that means there'll be less time wasted in this. Yes. So anyway, uh, on last time Simon. Uh, used the broom and flew from there to there and uh, I guess uh, he's about to enter Sordid's palace. Yeah, a villain that inexplicably we did not get much of a mention of during the entire story well, until now. That goes for Calypso as well, to yeah. be fair, which is by all intents and purposes the damsel in distress of the game which <laughs> don't ever get to see in this game. Yeah, which All is... in the sequel, as you brought it up. Yes, which uh, we'll inevitably get to, I'm pretty sure. At some point, we might. Anyway, let's enter the point of no return, also known as Sordid's uh, Summer Vacation House. Yes, this lovely abode. We all know that his Winter Vacation House is white. They're big, they're heavy, <laughs> yep. magically enchanted. Can we open the door? Well, no. How about our magic spellbook? No Surely way. that will help. Not after what happened last time. Uh, no, it doesn't help. Nope. How about the beard? That helped us get through I don't think it's everything. Much here. <laughs> I don't think it's much of use here. Yes. No. Uh, we could pay the Hey, pay I know. The doesn't work. I know. Let's use the WizKid starter pack. Oh, <laughs> great idea. <laughs> that will be useful to open up a door. That doesn't work. Oh, okay, okay, we seriously know I what guess we... uh, this is the time of the game in which we are supposed to know when to use a certain potion? Yes, I believe so. And there's something of note here. This little crack. There's a small crack in the door. And because of that crack, we do have a potion here. Let's take a look at that again. It has the words, drink me, on the bottle. Oh, come on! Alice in Wonderland, really? <laughs> well, I guess Hold that... on! We already have a spell that turns us into a mouse. Yeah. Why do we need the Alice in Wonderland shrinking potion for? Because then we can't have the Alice in Wonderland reference. This is stupid. I know, but still. This is really stupid. I know, it makes no sense, but... Consume potion. Let's just pretend... Is this the only time in which consume is useful for anything? Actually, we used it one other time, but I forgot when that was now that I think about it. Well, that tells a lot about uh, this interface needing some adjustments. <laughs> yeah, so let's just drink this potion and get on with it. Yeah, get on with it. Gluk, gluk, gluk. Oh, oh god! There's a little and of course we lose all our items. Well, that's sad. Goodbye for- WHAT THE HELL ARE YOU DOING HERE?! How did you get in here? Are you kidding me?! You do nothing for the entire game and suddenly you are here waiting for us? Oh, I see. Are you... Are you the Deus Ex Machina dog? Are you the, the dog from... Uh, Milo Murphy's Law? Dogus Ex Machina. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Hey, let go of me. Hey, come on, man. You've got a killer hairball I'm surprised here, the dog's I'll not done you. anything in this tower, to be honest. So... Let me get this straight, he's just there to bring you from point A to point B, which you could have just done on your own two feet. I don't get that either. That is the most useless, overpowered dog I've Let's... ever met. <laughs> Let's take a look in this bucket. There's a match to get Whoa, here. Simon! Wow, there is a clone of myself inside there! <laughs> Never go down there ever again. Okay, I believe there is a match, he said. Uh, Simon? Oh, gosh. What's happening? That's what I'm trying to understand, because... Uh-oh, is the game freezing? I think the game froze for some reason. Uh-oh. That has never happened before. I guess it's the curse of the clone. Oh, great. Thanks a lot, clone. Uh, well, 
Only one thing to do then. Be right back, folks. And we are back, folks, when we're going to see if we can actually do anything with this bucket. There's mm. a matchstick in here. I'll just pick it up. I think this is the right thing that was supposed to happen. There we go. Right then, so, let's proceed. Okay, I'm gonna save this now because... We don't want to repeat the whole cutscene with the most useless, overpowered dog in existence. Is that dog coming back in the sequel? I think it I never comes back in the sequel, actually. What is the point of the dog? The dog serves no purpose. It's just the... Okay, I know what we do. We need to pick this up. Yeah, yeah, do well, that. This is I'll more akin to Jack and the Beanstalk than Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, well, it could be a mixture of the two. Uh, can we do this? Yes. This is fractured fairy tales. Did I mention that? <laughs> it's stiff with rust. Oh, of course it's rusted, the tap is. Uh, can we actually use this with this? This I, is. I guess we have to make a makeshift uh, boat, and the leaf will serve as, as sail. Yeah, it certainly will. Let's go over here, by the way. For no. Okay, so there is literally no wind, and yet you can move it like that. <laughs> yeah, apparently we can do that. Uh, I'm going to quickly use this. Uh, oh, there should be a rock somewhere, I believe. Where is a rock? I believe that's the rock you're looking for. No. Okay, let me. Uh, nope. There's a Maybe it's uh, further down the river, or the pad, let's, doll, let's... or whatever this is supposed to be. I've run yeah, I can't go it's any further. No. I see, so we do need to oil up a bit the... Yeah, we have to oil up the tap, but in order to do that, we need I to... I think you need the seed. I believe there is a liquid inside the seed for that specific purpose. That's why I remember there should to be a rock somewhere, essentially, to pick up from somewhere. Because I could... Maybe you can just use it with the tap. Let's, we'll give it a try, but I'm pretty sure we're supposed to crush that it with or something. Work. That doesn't work. Let me go back here. Is there a rock or pebble of some description here? Ah, here it is. It's a stone. A small stone. One that's easy to... Miss. Yes, indeed. Now, this is where all I the puzzles become the very... Linear. Linear, and it's very yes. obvious what the solution is. So basically, you are stuck in a goblins game. You know, you have to solve one screen at a time before proceeding to the next area of the game. Yeah, so... Although, to be fair, it's not as... not as nearly as idiotic or convoluted as goblins. This is refreshingly straightforward. Yeah, okay, let's actually move this hair to see if we can move the tap now. Eh. There we go. Yay, oh, I water. am surprised that that tap is actually linked to anything that produces water, yeah, especially, to be honest. I'm surprised Sorted even has a garden in his place, to be honest. Well, you know, the man has his hobbies, you know, gardening, stone masonry, turning people into rocks, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> as it were. Oh, gardening gnomes, of course. Yes, What's the gnome is important. Oh, poo. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm ah, I'm pretty sure they are reusing hey, the same scream over and over fun. again. They are. It's very obvious. Eh, 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 eh. Oh my. Well, um, I guess uh, the vor fetish fan base has been uh, satiated. <laughs> satiated, yes, enough with this. And also fan service, of course. You literally need to take one of his sons as hostages. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. That's terrible! Hey, Frog. You see this sun, see? Oh, oh, come on, man! I wonder if I'm supposed to give it to him rather than use. Probably. Let me see if I can skip this. Oh, yes, good. We can. we can skip that whole scenario. 
So this is your son, see? Let me pass or your son dies, see? Your son gets it, see? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, uh, I must be forgetting something here. Mm. That doesn't work. Mm. Kill the tadpole with the stone! Ush. How about consume that the tadpole? To the Talk to it. I'm not Talk to, to the frog. Though. Aha! Ah. Oh, Out of wait. the way, see? Or the tadpole gets it, see? <laughs> yeah, let's do this. The tadpole gets it, see? Tadpole Didn't realize that this was the way we had to- And oh, the tadpole's crying. I guess I showed him. Th that, that was awful. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really think much about it back in the day, but... But it's really kind of awful. <laughs> it is it is pretty awful. Uh... I mean, it's one thing to get rid uh, of the frog with some cartoonish wacky means, as it is uh, usual for mushroom. these games, but it's another thing to take the frog's son's hostage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hostage, hostage, hostage. I'm spitting all over the place, by the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I could tell, actually. Also, uh... This just probably explains a few things about uh, Simon's upbringing, I think, especially in the second game. Hmm. You see, Mom is a gangster, see? Ush. And that is a money swindler, see? Okay, let's take a look at this mushroom again. It's a magical mushroom with eat me written on it. Oh, come on, again? I guess eat it? Well, I guess we're gonna have to. I wonder what's the deal with that Zeus statue over there. That's a good point. It has no importance, though, by the game standards. Anyway, this is a very nice garden. Wait a minute. So, we went from the entrance from to the other side of it, which has a garden on it. And now we go back inside. This seems a bit roundabout. It is, but I guess we had to grow big again in order to get into this castle. Well, into this Tower of Doom. With a really nice garden on it. Yeah. I have to say. I have to say as well that I'm surprised science has not destroyed it. You are referring to the logical improbability of growing up a flourishing green garden atop a volcano? Yes. <laughs> it does not seem like the right climate. Well, you know, everything can be justified by just saying, hey, it's magic. Yeah. It's okay. magic. Magic gardens. Okay. Magic gardens. Let's take a look at this door. What do you think of this door? A sturdy wooden door. Which is open, so get inside. You dumb nut. Is that a mimic? There's inexplicably, there's more items in here too. It's a mimic! Hello there! Of course there is a mimic inside this castle. Why wouldn't there be a mimic? Hold on, this is actually far more similar to the Discworld luggage, given the human legs. Yeah. And I don't know why you left Simon, because I need because I actually do have the item we need to get rid of that thing. And it's the most obvious thing ever. You throw a rock at it. No. Uh, oh, you block his mouth with the stick. Classic. This was very simple for me when I was when I was a kid. Just basically. <laughs> you got me this time, pal. Hey, that's very rude. Well, I guess this is my life now. Uh, yeah, it's his life with a stick in his mouth. It's got the branch stuck in its mouth. Pick up the chest. rather not touch it. Okay, we'll pick up the shield. Oh, yes, we need that spear. I knew we need something in here. I actually forgot to take a look at the uh, shield beforehand. Its surface is dull and tarnished. Mm, I remember this. You need to clean it's up the shield the pointy end. Yeah. in order to serve the purpose that of a the game later. had allotted to it, as it were. Yeah, I know. I like to use fancy words every once in a while. Not so often, but every once in a while. Right, so we need one of these heads. Just to show off the fact that I am bilingual. Oh good, I picked the right head. Eh, eh. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Skullhead, we got you. Hey there, uh, Mari's cousin. Whoever he was, he had an enormous nose. I like how he has this sign here saying, Pain okay. <laughs> <laughs> Instruments of death. I well, I guess if you need to PR a torture chamber and your boss is very particular about it, and you want to find a positive message in it, hey! Guys, this is the perfect place for you if you're a masochist. 
Well, I definitely know Sordid was a big fan of Harlan Ellison. <laughs> Yo, the I have yes, no laugh, I, I must scream. Yes, I know what you're referring to. <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, say just in case no one else realized what I was referencing. So, uh... Skull Crusher? How is this Crusher Skull? Is it for a giant? Honestly, it looks more it like, looks like a, a uh, particularly barbaric dentistry apparatus. Well, we have the Man Mangler over here. Don't know. The Man Mangler. Oh no, I think I have an idea of how that works. Okay, so we need to use this with this. That doesn't work. Oh no, not the lever. The skull? No, we have to use the chest on the block, because the chest is locked, and there's no key in the entire tower for this thing. So, we have to do the only logical thing. Destroy it. Smash it and squash it. And destroy all the contents in the process. Uh, yes. Except, it's not destroyed. Um, we have a bunch of candles here. Sure. I mean, I don't know how they survived the inevitable crushing. Let's go up these stairs because we actually got everything we need on these two floors. Ah, oh. uh, yes. We'll need that mouse. Uh, Sordid, you appear to have a mouse infestation. There's some magic wand on this table. I can turn people into stone. You know, come to think of it, you're a top of a volcano. How do you not melt in your own sweat? I hope this place is provided with some AC. Oh, there's a book on here. I think we need this book. I better pick it up first. It's a plot convenient book. Wow, okay, so he looks it up, he says, I need to pick this up. Yes. And then you pick it up. Brilliant. It tells you all about magic wands. It says that the only way a magic wand can be destroyed is to throw it into the fiery pits of Rondor. Rondor, you say? Yeah. Rondor, you say? Hmm. Hmm. Suspiciously familiar name? Yes, suspiciously familiar name and suspiciously similar situation that he's been described. Also, is this a throne or a bed throne? Why can't it be both? You know, one of those uh, children's uh, toy beds, you know, yeah. basically a bed, it but it's uh, aesthetically presented as a racing car. Yes. <laughs> Maybe this is his equivalent of that. <laughs> this is his uh, sword throne <laughs> bed, if you will. Such a sordid throne, yes. Such a sordid throne. <laughs> That's not what I said, but <laughs> this is even better. <laughs> okay, this is very easy. If you consider the only hint you got was seeing the mouse, you know, leaving the sock alone once it saw you coming. So They'll never see it coming. <laughs> right then. Let's check this hole. I'm surprised there's a hole in the stairs. Okay, I believe there's nothing okay, else. Okay, so is Sordid keeping his money inside the hole? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go upstairs and see. Uh... Those two. Yes. Oh, oh hello, hello there. there, gentlemen. An intruder. Intruder. Oh yes, we Not probably like are supposed to do something about that. Hmm? Oh, so let's go the way of yeah. Semen Bond. <laughs> go and tell him. Tell him. Yeah. We couldn't just sit there while a boss gets, you know. You know, um, it's kind of our job, we are paid yeah. to do that. Then again, we Castlevania we demons, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are proud of their job. <laughs> uh, we could just carry on with a game, just like yeah, whatever. It's not like it's Ignore. our job or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, okay then. So well, the pair of laziest demons in the entire hellish realm just happen to be the ones in this castle. Lucky us. Yeah, and they're a lovely pair of demons, I must say. Oh, there's another book over here. Let's take a look at this. Okay, book. don't mind me, you guys. I'm going to it's steal things in this like room that. and never to return them. Just like any other. Oh, what's this one say? It's Sordid's spell book. It looks just like mine. I there's thought it was Sordid's diary. To hell. You need spell a book, diary, candles. same thing. Dear and diary, today I turned a wizard into stone. stone. It was a productive day. <laughs> Uh, so what does Simon say about the book, by the way? Uh, you will have to, uh... <laughs> Reread it. Yes. Well, that sucks. Okay, let me, uh... There's a spell here to return demons to hell. 
You need a double square with eight candles, oh. a mouse, and a human skull. You okay. also need to know the demon's true names. I don't know why that Simon would know this right now, considering that we haven't talked to them properly yet. He read the book. It's written in the book. What, is it like the only thing in the book? Because you I should... guess it is. Because in puzzle games, you have to find out first the situation. No, he just that. read the book. He found conveniently an entry about demons coming back to hell and... And what needs to be done, you need the demons' real names, you need uh, something to draw a pentagram of some yeah. description, you need candles, you need a mouse, and a human skull. Hey, we got most of those at least. We got most of those. Yes. Yeah, so... But, uh... We need the real names, and as you all know, in classic D&D &D campaigns, knowing a demon's real name can be quite hard, yes. Yes, it, it definitely can be. By the way, uh, a little extra note here. Before we came on, me and Mad Hog basically decided to read up on the uh, voice actors in this game, and other than Chris Barry, the other actors in this are either people who only did one-time deals, or basically just... Uh, had other successes elsewhere in uh, other parts of media. Ventures. Yeah, other ventures I'm not privy to. Let's just talk to these demons now. Because... I like to think he was listening to Black Sabbath in that uh, man. <laughs> it wouldn't uh, surprise me. Like two orcs eyes and a goblin tooth beat a triple dragon. I... Um, I don't play Magic the Gathering, sorry. Yeah, neither do I, not a fan of card games. Card games on motorcycles? More like card games in volcanoes. <laughs> card games in volcano cycles? <laughs> Tag prevents me from passing comment. Tact prevents me from passing comment. What we are is uh, angry. Uh, annoyed, angry, covered, annoyed, cross, uh, displeased, uh, everything. Flustered, harassed, his, his head is like nettled, going off his shoulders. Uh, He's emphasizing he how uh, uncomfortable he is Ryan's with this current situation. I don't know, with the way you're standing there, my friend, you seem to be quite comfortable <laughs> with that cigarette in hand. There is a difference in between feeling comfortable and looking cool. Ah, yeah, true. Uh, okay, why are you irritating? You know, everybody in the 90s had that exact matter. position, casually leaning on something Yo, to look true. cool. <laughs> true. Not interested. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, should we be the moralist of the occasion? Mm. I mean, telling a demon from hell that it's bad to smoke seems a bit... Uh, Redundant? <laughs> it's not bigger, it's not clever, you know. <laughs> uh, it depends because both of these tabs they seem to have the same uh, thing, I believe. Uh, um, you choose then. Okay, uh, that. It's a filthy habit. We really should give up. It's okay, right. Mom. Loads. <laughs> loads. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, great. We have to go back to talk to these Excuse dudes me. again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, I let's say that. Huge red monsters that breathe fire and fly. That's a good publicity. We That's good publicity. <laughs> genuine. Yeah. It's the same people who did PR for uh, the torture chamber. <laughs> <laughs> the torture chamber, as I put it, erroneously. Yeah. What's with the sordid guy, guy anyway? He He's a bit to, sordid, you, you know, see. Rule the universe, don't he? Oh, he wants rule to rule the universe. Yeah. I would have loved to see any of that happening Rooms. during the actual yeah. game. Yeah, during... He's done nothing so far. It, it's Kefka. He's just waiting for you to come and kill him. He <laughs> doesn't do anything at all. He's one of those types of guys who just sits around and says, Oh, I'm totally gonna do this. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great. You but know, you know, at the very least, when Marlon Brando was playing that colonel in Apocalypse Now, there was a reason that made perfect sense why we would only see him at the end. Yeah. But uh, with Sordid, um, there really isn't a proper reason why nothing that he does couldn't reflect on the land itself. Yeah. Okay, let's see what these plans are with these two. Fit into these plans? 
We are Sordid's personal bodyguards, jailers, gardeners, cleaners, shit. Personal bodyguards, like gardeners, and cleaners. We do. That explains why the garden looks so nice. Yeah. I you mean, know, for big red monsters, they have quite the green thumb. <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, while the uh, demon strike? I have no idea what you're trying to say there, Simon, but why not? Why don't you have a wild demon strike? We're already having one. Ah. He doesn't like keep us here to play dice, you know. To be honest, I'm not really like sure why he keeps us here at all. Ever since he got hold of that wand, our tasks have been rather limited. Limited. Yeah. Limited. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> turns people to like stone. Stone, yeah. Stone, Which yeah. Which accounts for very lifelike statues of the people that, like, tried to stop him. Right then. Do you get the gimmick yet, guys? So, come to think of it, though, have we met Calypso statue at all? No, that's why I kind of theorized it was that, uh, guy holding the staff, but... Well, you would think that someone as important as Calypso would be kept in the keep itself? Yes, you would Maybe think in the that. dungeons downstairs? The torture chamber? The torture chamber with very good PR? He must have Let's just to say the obvious. <laughs> yeah. Quite a little fight he put so up. far these demons have taken he's up more of our time right. than anticipated. Floor, than everything wow. else in this worries. session, really. The, like, Which could be a good or a bad thing, depending on what you think. <laughs> uh... I'm on a mission from God! The only way out is through the teleporter. Personally, I'm blown if I'm gonna tell you how to use it. So, we need to do all this. We need to send them back to hell in order for them to uh, tell us in return how to use the teleporter. Why won't you tell me? Mm, which would be useful to know, guys. For the good of the people, you know. People. Yes. yes. What do you want? Yeah, let's just get to the... Point. Let's what cut to the want? chase. Yes, like cut to the cheese. <laughs> cut the chard. <laughs> <laughs> cut the red Lester, you know. which is my favourite. Yeah. All you have to do, like, is find the wizard powerful enough. Okay, uh... I serve the sorcerer will save you. By sending you back to hell, which sounds like a paradox, but it isn't. <laughs> I, Simon the Sorcerer, will save you. Pardon my lack of confidence, <laughs> oh mighty one, but like, you're hardly a wizard at all. Yeah, they can tell he's hardly a wizard. I killed for less than that. <laughs> I like this. Would you care to step outside? <laughs> Would you Might as well. <laughs> Ain't it past your bedtime, kiddo? Way past your bedtime. <laughs> I killed for less than that. <laughs> oh dear. I'd better get my, like, headstone done. Headstone. Yeah. Headstone. Yeah. What makes me feel I'm not a wizard? I'm not a wizard, eh? I've met a few wizards in my time, like, and they're all fat, chemical-stained, befuddled old fools. <laughs> chemical-stained, Fool. fat, befuddled old fools. <laughs> oh, he's 14. <laughs> that makes the fan service a bit more, um... Awkward. Awkward now that I realize this. No, it makes Rimmer's voice a lot more awkward. <laughs> My tutors always call me a fool. I'm quite fabuddled. I'll F have you know. Fabuddled. Uh, that one. Well, the yes. I'm quite fabuddled. I'll have you know. I can't be bothered to like. I would like to know Chris Barry's take on some of these lines, like, the like fabuddled. We'll you mean Fondin? Yeah. Yeah. It is fond in. Yeah, it is. Just accept it. I'd have accepted that. I accepted that ages ago. Right then. 
I'll just go and get prepared. Okay, so then stop bargaining with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we should know how to do all this, so Yes indeed. I'm just gonna clean this shield inexplicably right in front of you guys. Of course! I hope you don't mind. You, of course, we can just pour the liquid on top of it and nothing else will get stained by it. I'm just going to leave this here. For no particular reason, mind you, it's just for decor. Yes, yes, yes. it makes it... spruces up the place a little, I think. Yes, indeedy. Let's go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Yeah, we will... Uh, let's go there. Uh, see you, fellas. Yeah, see you, uh, see fellas. You it's, it's nice knowing I'm you guys. very inconspicuously and not suspiciously at all going down the stairs where the magic mirror is. Yep, we have a mirror over here. I can see my reflection in it. Uh, what? Oh. What's the matter? Let's let's <laughs> talk to it then. Mirror before? Uh? Oh, get it. Oh, he's already talking to it. Yeah. A lot of darn talking mirror. Why would that surprise you at this point? You've seen mummies. You've, you've seen, seen dragons. Tra talking woodworm. Yes. Trolls. So you kind of seen. You've seen farmers disguised as wizards. Which are not very cleverly disguised, my lad. La di da, a talking mirror. I'm actually a magical scrying mirror. I a magical a scrying mirror. Thank you very much. The the place, that can talk. So can and see it as if you were there. Right, so it can actually provide you with a short camera circuit to see buggy <laughs> glued up. No, it actually allows you to see through shiny surfaces and uh, we just so happen to have put up a very specific shiny surface in the floor above. Device. That we have. Uh, and I believe he'll explain that as well here. Sordid uses me to assist him in hatching evil plots. Evil plots? Do you know how long it's been since I last had a good point? I actually generally it forgot what the mirror sounds like <laughs> in voice acting wise. Feelings, you know? I don't remember it being. I just much. need up the keyboard, by the way. Yeah, it's okay. Those things kinda happen. Let's talk to the mirror. Do you require my services now? Yes, no. What's it like being a mirror? <laughs> don't it's waste like time. Oh come on. Oh come on, it's just one minute. I'm really hungry. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was funny down the pub. Hilarious. Okay, show me the lab on the top floor. There's a good job. <laughs> There's a good job. Show me the lab on the top floor. There's a good job. What's the point? It's only just up the stairs. Gerald and Max. That's yes. What the... No, those are the, their uh, fake names. names. I have a fear of spiral staircases. <laughs> I want to spy on Gerald and Max. I can't imagine there'd be words Okay, let's see what the real names are. Okay, here goes. Nice light show, by the way. Why are you like so nervous in front of strangers, Belch Grabbit? Belch Grabbit? Wouldn't you be with a name like Belch Grabbit? It's not much better than Snob Fundle, really. Snob Fundle? Belch Grabbit. Belch Grabbit and Snob Fundle. I can see Fundle. why demons adopt fake names. Uh, their parents are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably just take the first sound effect that they could find. Belch Grabbit. Okay, let's. Snob Fuddler or Fundle or whatever. My gosh. Okay. It's a good thing we don't have to remember those names. Well, we have everything we. Hello again. Need, but I need chalk from these guys. I forget how to get that. Yes. Yeah, there we go. That's what we need. I never commented about uh, Simon's strat walk looks from uh, from the frontal position. Yeah. He's strutting like Vince McMahon down uh, the stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I believe we're ready, so let's rock. Let's rock. Guilty Gear style. I'm impressed. Very impressed. This might just work. Are you work. so impressed you're going to tell me how to work that out the teleporter? That would be a good shot. Just push the red button marked self destruct and tell the machine where you want to go. It's so you want us to push the button 
marked as self-destruct to teleport. That seems awfully inconvenient. That seems awfully uh, counterintuitive, I might add, you know. Okay. No, maybe it's a trap, you know, it's not really a self-destruct, it's for, you know, uh, dissuade possible uh, usurpers there we go. You know, from using it. Looks like we're stuck. Uh, your line is missing there. Yep. Oh, there we also, go. Also, by the sound of it, you just took your Ferrari to go to hell. <laughs> wow, that really tingles. And that's the like last we'll right? see of them. Not. That's the last we'll see of them. Not. That's no, no. It's totally the last time we'll ever see Belch Grubble and. And Schnott Fitzgerald, or whatever their names were. You know what? You're right. <laughs> Not. <laughs> okay, let's look at this teleporter. teleporter. I mean, it doesn't look like a teleporter. It looks like something that's going to make you ice cream any second. A very inconvenient, large, and possibly venomous evil ice cream <laughs> that might attack you, but still, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's... Let's use it. Just walk in it. Okay, let's just walk it. What? Uh huh. Uh, well, I guess uh, this is sliding doors now. Um, I guess we'll see what happens when the other Simon doesn't decide to use the teleporter. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. <laughs> this is uh, bizarre and oddly fascinating. Uh, the fiery pits of Rondor, please. And leave my other half. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Please, Please don't crash the game again. Look where I saved. the last stretch of the game. One gold piece. This is the third to last screen, in fact. <laughs> of course, uh, Roar Door would be a tourist attraction. A tourist trap, no less. A tourist trap. Okay, tourist born and I'm running a routine uh, inspection. I'm running a routine inspection. In that case, you can try out the ticket selling service. HA! You do special rates for mighty wizards? Mighty wizards go free. Why do you ask anyway? Because I am a mighty wizard. Ha! And I'm the tooth fairy. <laughs> and I'm the tooth fairy. He doesn't believe me. Uh, I had no idea this place was a. So this special. place is actually free if you're a mighty wizard. Yes, but I don't think we are. Uh, I left my mighty wizard document in my other pantaloons. Or in this or case, my uh -huh. other magic hat. <laughs> <laughs> Three years ago it wasn't. That's King Gerald for you. Have some brochures. King Gerald? That's the first time I heard of a King a Gerald. Yeah, same here. Rondor. What if he's in the sequel? Like, I know we meet a king in that one. Out. See the fires of hell in full effect. And remember, free sunblock for everyone. Sounds really neat. So, why is there no one here? That's just it, isn't it? place is at least 150 miles from the nearest village, and the only way to get here is on foot, or by magic. We've only had two visitors in the last three years, and one was a wizard. Ha! Of course he's here! Yeah, that's it. The other was this little green fella. The green fella? You mean the swapling? <laughs> okay, so, um, yes, clever idea putting a tourist trap in a place that's impossible to reach by normal means. 
great idea, you guys. The fate of the world depends on it. I mean, I don't think any kind of PR could save Mordor. I mean, Rordor from uh, being a really unwieldy place to visit. No wonder they're invading everyone else. Yeah, no. Okay. If tourists won't come to us, we'll come to the tourists. <laughs> Fine, the we'll world. show them. If the world ends, it's on you. When the world ends, on your head be it. Okay. So, this is a very simple thing to do because the fact he will not let you pass beyond this point. Unless you have a ticket? Yes, which we do not have, obviously. You could not bring all the loads of gold you had with you? No, because that was part of your inventory before you shrunk. That's, yeah. It is really dumb that we can't take the gold at least. But. Anyway, let's take a it's look at this. It's time to activate the fire alarm. There we go. Now we have our rubber band. Because we're going to Dennis the Menace this up. When in doubt, Dennis the Menace it up, I where, guess. Where did you get this extra piece, by the way, Simon? Hmm, you didn't have that. Okay, let's... Ah, I guess we have to just use the catapult on... That's not a catapult! That's what it's called! That's a slingshot! It is a slingshot, but for some reason they call it a catapult. Fire in the fiery pits! Who could have ever imagined? <laughs> what the? He shouldn't be there? Yeah, that's weird. I guess it must be an emulation issue with Skull Well, DM. I guess it doesn't matter because we passed through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have some floor wax here. That will be useful. Very useful indeed. More useful than most people would probably think. It is literally a game ender. <laughs> yeah. Except it's right at the very end of the game, of course. So here we go. Sorted's in here. And here's Sorted. Are you satisfied? Are you happy to see how Sorted looks like? Uh, not really. I mean, back in the day, he just—he was just a random evil guy. He looks like Rule 63 Lady Tremaine from Cinderella. <laughs> Except with bad teeth and, and clearly some sort of eye infection. He has black eyes and yellow irises, apparently. So what exactly is he trying to accomplish here? I'm at a bit of a loss. He's trying to put the fire back on here. To destroy the universe, I guess? I actually forgot what he's up to at this point, because you were the one who were listening to the game so far. Okay, uh, let's look at Sword. I was commenting over it for most of it, to be ah. fair. Okay, can we talk to Sorted? Hey, Sorted! Well, we do have a magic wand, don't we? Yes, a magic wand that does specifically what Sorted has been doing the entire game. So it's like karmic justice almost. Quite ironic, wouldn't you say? Oh, hey, shut up. Slime bucket. Slime bucket? Pizza, baby. Ha! You turned. D did he just say pasta de pizza? As as pasta la pizza? Pasta la pizza. You're not Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Also, he looks so sad at the statue. Yes, you have to destroy the wand by, oh, yeah, I forgot. by throw said wand into the fiery pits. I forgot something that we actually need back here. It's a very important piece of... Oh, now he's not there. Ah, here we are. Oh, come on. Another pack of matches, folks. Hmm. It's not like we could have. That was an accidental light motif, almost. Ush. It's not like we could have, you know, had the matches we had before come with us. Multiple matches, in fact. Yes. You know, this is really funny because Sordid had tried to open up the rift of lava in that river, desiccated river as it were, with his mighty magic all this time, and all we need to do that ourselves is a match. Yeah, I guess Simon has nothing to say about the lava pit, so... Sordid and all his magic couldn't get this thing working? Yeah, even he is pondering about that. And yet... It works! Well, what do you know? It works! What a tourist trap! <laughs> oh my god! Wow, just wow. It's almost like magic is useless. <laughs> okay, let's save here. 
This is the final stretch of the game, as in this is really the final battle, the final showdown, and everything in between. Yeah, so... Let's save Calypso and all those poor people who are... Mm, I cannot help but wonder that we might be forgetting something, but nah, nah. Uh, it cannot be that important. Yeah, it's not important, because I'll be made a hero for sure. we've now become heroes, folks. Yes, we saved everybody who's been turned into stone, because now they will not be stoned anymore. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And Sordid's not very impressed. I am not very happy with you, young lad. Well, well, well. Oh, yeah, my well, well, you're drooling, you're gross. I thought he was melting at this point, to be honest. Um, uh, Can we call it quits? Um, um, the, the devil made me do it! <laughs> the devil made me do it. I'm not interested in your pathetic whinging. I'm not interested in my cockney accent. <laughs> Die properly and with great suffering. Great I suffering. Goodbye then. You almost finished the game as well. Say your prayers, little wizard. And this is it then. And oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, uh, I don't know what to call this. Uh, uh, plot uh, blocking Sorry, telephone wait. commercials. Oh. Yes, yes, no. What? Well, same to you, Jack. It's for you. I, I like how the villain just stops just because, hey, you have a phone call. <laughs> That's politeness. Oh, this is the voice of Calypso. Hey, nice to see you. Well, <clears throat> hear you, at least. So he's coming to save you and he wants you to stall him. He never arrives. Yes. <laughs> he never arrives though. Spoiler, he never arrives. My life policy is cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking you out of my will. Uh the second one. Yeah, that seems more. Just to tell me my yeah. life policy is right for the, the moment. Okay then. Okay, then. Your Let's go back to pain and suffering and all that lot. Yeah, shut up and die. I think I think the funny thing is the box art right for this game. Uh, yeah, that always puzzled me. That the box art of the game, sordid, looks like some sort of really frightening giant skeleton man. Then we get to see him in the actual game. And he looks like this? Yeah, that's kind of weird, like I was about to say. That... And you know what's even weirder? Yeah. In Simon the Sorcerer 3D, he is revived inside an armor that looks exactly like he does in the original box art of the first game. I believe it's also in the second game where his soul is actually in that thing as well. This befuddles me. Were they predicting they would make a sequel already and he would look like that in the sequel? Or maybe the people who made the box art had no idea how sort it looked like and they decided, you know what? We're making him look like this in the sequel. Before we proceed, I would like to point yeah. out that the original box art for the game is quite spectacular. Mm, yeah. A bit cluttered and overcrowded, but still quite nice to look at. Yeah. It also gives me the wrong idea of what the game is about. Yes, it does. Uh, it actually did the same to me when I was a kid as well, when I saw the box art. It looked really cool and epic, gonna be a wizard, sort of thing, doing some spells. And no, you're just doing the typical puzzle game protagonist stuff. Pretty much. By the way, Sorted, sorry for keeping you waiting, but have you heard about the vicar and the mongoose? Uh, Somebody dies. Have you heard the one about the butter? No. I'd better not tell you. You might spread it. Oh. Oh! <laughs> butter. Yeah. <laughs> it spreads. Yes. Oh gosh. Is this really how we die? After a terrible pun? Uh, I can't think of any better way to die. <laughs> Um, um, okay. Oh, I guess we can't do it the first time when he, you know, is doing that. And suddenly so, the bridge is out. 
So, you know, I've just realized something. Yeah? Sordid is a terrible sorcerer. How do you know? However did he get to get in power before the magic wand? Seriously, he cannot open up a lava rift, a simple lava rift. He cannot kill a boy, pulverize him and whatnot. He's a terrible sorcerer, he sucks. I know, he's very bad Let's at what he does. Him. Let's kill him. Yes, we're gonna kill him in the most... Uh, Cartoonish way possible, I guess. Nice Cartoonish, but also the most... Gruesome. Gruesome. He's gonna have a Disney death on his hands. <laughs> okay, once the mouse pointer gets back into play, I'm going to solve the solution. Okay. Yep. He's not really reacting to this yet either, <laughs> which is funny to me. Did we mention he's a terrible wizard or sorcerer or because, you know, it's different, apparently. Ow! Ah, his... that has to hurt. So, um... Bye-bye. Uh, oh, oh god, no! Oh no, I'm melting! Oh, what a world! Oh, uh, uh, it looks terrible. That... Mustn't be pleasant. And hey, hey, look, we have automatically uh, destroyed the game by destroying the villain. Hey, wait, uh, who are you? Congratulations, well done. You, you are not Simon Calypso, are you? Well, Simon, what does I, it feel I'm, like I'm, I'm, having, I'm having a question on reality right now. Would you like to say something to your fans? Um, this next year's sequel. Oh yes, they have already the sequel in production, apparently. They were so confident about it. What an awful dream. Well, well, what a horrible dream. What a horrible night to have a curse. And, oh no! And there's Sordid's hand, I believe. Well... Well... Well, this has happened, folks. I guess, sequel bait. And this is the end of the, of the, of the first game of Simon the Sorcerer. Well, look who's not back at all. Yeah. Right now. Oh yes, totally not back. But they're doing a really nice dance though. Uh, I say a nice dance anyway. Essentially this is the credit sequence. We never get to see Calypso and he's the one we were all hot and bothered about saving in the first place. Yeah. And it's like Mario at the end of Mario doesn't get to actually find the princess. <laughs> I I have to admit this uh this game, uh, seeing it without the rose-tinted glasses, it's basically... Basic? Basic, and... Also, parody-wise, it's very basic. It can't keep focus at points, especially on the main quest, essentially. Yes, but it's fun. It is fun, it's charming, it's... And plus, it's, a, it's actually a really great game to play when you're a young child, essentially. And of course, the game decides to close itself now. Well, that's convenient for us. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this uh, journey down memory lane to our childhood's favorite, yeah. as it were. And uh, we'll be seeing you next time for more of the things we usually do. Whatever yeah. those may be. Yes, uh, we'll be seeing you whenever we do anything, especially. Expect us to play the sequel, that's for sure, at some point. Well... You know, after that amazing sequel bait, how can we not? I want to know who that giant mechanical gloved hand is. Yeah, and uh, what all this is about in the sequel. Yep, which will give us all of the answers and a very complete and satisfying conclusion that won't leave anything left to discover. It will definitely not have a segue to the worst sequel imaginable and make everything pointless yes indeed well well it was nice knowing you folks so take care of yourselves and we'll see you next time indeed and remember whatever you do don't accept whiz kids starter packs from strange men dressed as wizards pretending to be farmers pretending to be wizards who are pretending to be farmers who are also I pretending to be wizards yes inexplicably and also, dial for a pizza right now, while you still can. Goodbye, everybody. Take care, all.